Hello everybody, welcome back to Doggo Card Reviews. We are back here with part two of this Love Live Nishisaki High School Idol Club featuring School Idol Festival All-Stars set review. Yay, we're on to the most boring section. Greg okay, is okay. a bit of a boring color in general, is it not? Like... Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. All the red, all the red section so far. What a drag! It could be worse, Gavin. It could be uh, Sora Online Alice's Asian War of the Underworld Red. Um, like I said, man, we spent forty-five minutes saying, "Do not play this." <laughs> okay. Without further ado, we'll move on to some cards here. We have Creamy Berry, Ayamu Uehara, level 00, zero cost 1500 power. Uh, when your Karmas is put in your Karmas area, you may look at up to your top two cards in your deck and rearrange them, and she is a self tap salvage brainstorm. So, this was our choice of brainstorm for a lot of people because they found. They found the, I think it was the Shio Rico one from Yellow, underwhelming. Mm -hmm. I'm going, you know what? I kind of have to agree with you guys. Right, like, and, like, so people remember, like, how high we spoke of Shio Rico combo, which is a salvage combo, and we typically, like, promote this, promote this idea of brainstorm should do the opposite of what the combo does, if possible. Uh, I guess it's not really the case here. Hey, man, no. and man, Oh, go ahead, Eddie. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, you definitely have to be running this over, like, the Shirariko Brainstormer, just because of, like, the nature of choice and triggering them. Like, being able to know, like, the top two is, like, just, like, pretty good in that, in that context. Oh, definitely. Information, is, information manipulation is very good. Now, of course, we're just going, huh, why did this have to be the boring, the boring Red Storm? The typical boring red storm. Like, oh, uh, it, it, of course, it's been a while since I've ran a red brainstorm, but at the same time, just going, oh, damn it. <laughs> right, but like, especially for people who are splashing into red, like, this is like your easiest red splash. Oh, yeah, easiest level up target on, on, in your, on my life, man. I swear. I'm like, Majority of the time, though, I, I don't know if this applies to you, gentlemen, but Ayumu just feels like the worst card in my hand, like, 95% of my gameplay so far. I can't blame you for thinking that. Yeah, it's pretty lackluster. Like, the the other auto ability that's attached to it, um, it's, 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 it's almost like a really awkward position in your turn. Because it's, you know, when you place a Climax, not you know it feels like at the beginning of your climax phase and that would be you know really good but um it's like when you place a climax so it, 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 it oh see see yes again they can't make it be gay a climax phase just because that will, that will power creep fool me from assault lily yeah i mean or will power but... creep uh rem from uh Ray zero frozen bombs <laughs> yeah fair enough but at the same time man th this is just underwhelming I i'm sorry but like i don't know that oh go ahead go ahead and yeah like, almost treat this as like a vanilla brainstormer like there's yeah like there's no other reason why you would value this card in your hand or kind of go out of your way to go and reach for it like if it just pops into your hand then cool if not like there's no incentive to go and grab it on top of that, I guess it's also the same title with access to homepage reveal costume, which allows you to get almost a guaranteed character off the top three every turn you so you so desire. Right, that's so much better than just brainstorm potentially hit nothing. Sure, Ayumu's like if you hit multiple, I get you more than one, but at the same time. It, it, it's it's more of the level support combined with the ability to get one guy a turn is so much more valuable than just oh look I might be able to get you guys and I rearrange your top two when you play a climax like it it it, it just feels underwhelming and oftentimes 
I almost want to push Creamy Berry to the Creamy Berry up as a shitter. Like if anything, like I'm, you know, ever, ever since we've just ever since like the power level of advantage game cards have increased steadily, I almost feel like brainstorm it starts to become more of a. Oh, I just need to go through four cards in my deck because my deck state feels pretty sus. I almost want to cut my brainstorms down to two. I really don't blame you. Like it, 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 it like I currently have it at three. Like if you'd asked me two years ago, yeah, four of brainstorm every time, but. Now I'm just going, Brainstorms kind of just are like, eh. Advantage game is just too good now. Right, like, I typically use them more as, a, you know, I, I don't know about YouTube, but I use these more as a form of on-demand deck mill more than anything now. I mean, if that, I'm, but at the same time, we have Azusa in the same set. Why not so... both? Azusa, Azusa allows me to pitch dead cards from hand. This costs me stock. Right, but you know, at the same time, not having stock outs is a is a double edged sword of its of its uh, in of itself, right? Oh, oh, of course, of course. But again, homepage literally solves all of our problems. It's so yeah, true. you yeah, you can you can have like just uh, two of those like in, in the back. You're pretty much set like for like the rest of the game. It's like double level supports and oh I paid two to get two guys guaranteed. Keep my tempo. And, and went through my deck by six cards. <laughs> like it, up to it's, six cards. Like it's oh, flexible okay. too, which is even better. And unlike Ayumi here, oh I'm oh I refreshed eight in. Oh wait, I just milled three climaxes. I just refreshed. Oof. Oh yeah, no, that, 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 that's like the worst. And of course, in limited play. Uh, I you like Ayumu almost feels worse than Shiorika because of its because of her higher rarity line. Oh, that like it, it it's gonna sound ridiculous, but like every time I just see a, a, a double rare brainstorm, just go, oh, not this shit again. Right, but, but you would think that with you would think like it's almost like Bushers Bushers about to reach that point where they're gonna unironically give self cap. Non draw and then it came brainstorms to trial decks in in the like by the end of this year or something. Oh, I predict within the next six months or so. Yeah, definitely, because honestly speaking, they feel underwhelming. They they just feel un underwhelming. Like I, I I don't know, Andy, back me up here on this one, man. Yeah, this um I I actually cut this card completely like out of my build. Like I do, I I don't run any brainstormers because you home page, just... home page reveal cost me is very good. Yeah, I run that engine like 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 four four milky cost me and four home page. Like oh, yeah, I would like, rather run I'm, that. I'm almost would... like I'm almost like the only reason why I haven't cut this out yet is because if I'm playing red, I'm I'm like running low on good red cards to splash. <laughs> and the spoiler old... spoiler alert: we will see. We, we're gonna hear like quite. The negative appearance for a lot of red cards in general, I think. Uh, I mean, the only reason I still run Ayumu here is is because I need red splash for a particular red event that we'll be covering later this evening. So more more on uh, the events, right? <laughs> right. I'm just going. Um, I need red splash for that. Otherwise, I'd be with Andy here and just be like, screw this, <laughs> screw this. I'll just run homepage. If if, oh. if only that way to make events for Rexian. Oh, 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 dear lord, Jesus, no, dear lord! But anyway, before we, before we diverge into Forbidden Territory, so after we discuss all of that... Um, alright, gentlemen, verdict time. Verdict time, um... The, if I were to give this a playable minus, I'll mean I'm playing her in the same realm as Shiariko Brainstorm, which is very incorrect. So I think I'm actually forced to give this playable just because it's it's an easy red splash. More than anything else. Andy? This, this is play this is oh man, this is almost playable minus. I'm gonna be a little bit nice and give it the playable, only because you don't really have a lot of better options if like wanting to run a brainstormer is like what you're gonna do. Fair enough. I am I I I I, I, I was tempted to just shoot Shoot this in the head with the niche, but the red splash saved this. Give this the playable. 
the red splash, the, the red splash literally saved this card. I was like, if this, I was tempted if, if to this, this. If this wasn't red, <laughs> if this was re if this wasn't red, I would have shot this in the head by now. Because I'm like, I'm t we have homepage reveal, man. Right, but but good good guy, you was red, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, we we move on here. Uh, let's see here. Ah, uh, yes. Welcome to Ryujo. Ryujo, I Mie Mieshita. Ah, uh, yes. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother reading this card. Here, here's an insert from Baka Mitai instead. I'm such a mess. I'm lost. I'm no good at this. I'm in love. Still in love. Still in love with you. How does a try? I can't even drink this pain away. <laughs> I'm gonna be surprised if Gavin literally has a shot glass of whiskey right in front of him right now. No, I don't. I, I don't. I, 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 I review responsibly, okay? That's right. We, we at Double Car Reviews do, do not encourage uh, drinking and reviewing. Uh, I'm like, just going. Uh, again, all three of us know what this card profile is. Yeah. Facts. I, I, I'm sorry, but I, I, I literally read the excerpt instead of reading the card on purpose. There we go. <laughs> I mean, Andy, I'll have you go first on this one, then. Uh, I mean, like, the aqua profile is definitely just really strong in any sort of context. You know, just, just because, like, uh, the condition of, like, four or more is just way better than, like, two or less climaxes, because it's something that you could control. And this is definitely like yeah I, I I run this in my deck and I don't see like why you shouldn't run this in your deck like there's there's not that much of an argument not to run it it's just like you know it just ha it just has like really high value yeah you know fair enough I guess it's also one of the I you know I will not disagree and I guess it's one of the better red splashes of this title period because of how universal she is it's just more of we've seen way too many things like this that is starting to get. Irritating. <laughs> uh, I'm just going, okay, this is one of the reasons to run red. But this is also one of the cards that puts me to sleep. <laughs> right, like, 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 you know, don't get us wrong, Andy. We acknowledge the potency of this card. We are just starting to get fed up with what... We are starting to get fed up with continued existence. <laughs> oh, yeah, it Exact same profile. Like, there's no difference. Like, there's yeah, there's nothing. All all, we, all we changed was the name, the image, the traits, and the trait mentioned in the card ability. That's it. Uh, I'm just going, man. You know, and, and of course, it, of course, this we spent two hours, two and a half hours complaining about Aqua and her like kind because, honestly speaking, like. Is Aqua truly bad for the game? You could argue. You could argue she is true. You could argue for her existence. You could also argue for, oh god, if we erased Aqua, that'd be amazing. But right. at the same time... Like, like, I, 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 like if anything, Aqua is like one of the more polemic cards of the game? Of course, she's one of the better reasons to run red in this set. Like, if you want... Like if you're running low on a red, if you're running low on red, I is definitely your girl. You know, whenever I play play Nijigasaki, Shioriko usually fetches me I because honestly speaking, what else do I grab? That's red. Like I I, I almost want to build something that doesn't incorporate red at all. I really don't blame you, red. You know, as we go through red, we will find that outside of like a few gems. It's kind of rough. It, 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 it's also, I mean, historically, historically, we've done this review show for over a year now, and Red has been historically the the most boring color, either the most boring color or the most lacking color. And that's just a lot when we uh, literally get some King Kong the Green problem. <laughs> right, like green, like. It, it, barring barring the barring green, like I feel that red just goes. Why? Red is pretty much one of those cards where Bushiro knows it could play stupidly safe. That's what I feel. Well, it's Japan's favorite color by far. 
like literally there's not literally Japan's two favorite triggers are both in red. So it, it it's kind of just they could literally pump pump recycled ideas continuously out of red and literally it'll be this people will still eat it up like hotcakes because again it's exactly what you expect you know i i, I don't know if, i don't know if you two have noticed it but the least innovation comes out of red by far oh no de de definitely like okay sure yeah, red definitely seems like almost like a chore because you you have to run at least some red or splash some of it because it's hard to ignore like the, the the value that some of these profiles give you, but at the same time too, it does feel like you're almost like forced, like force fed. Hey, like you know, if you want if you want like a better level two game, you got to splash some red, and there's basically like red is almost like a solved color. Red is very solved. Like e even in this set, like sure, I have a choice between Shizuku, I or Emma as my level two game. And I'm like going. Okay, Shizuku's good choice. So is Emma. But I just kind of just goes, hi, I'm probably the best option. I'm like going, reads cards. I'm going, yeah, I'm probably the best option. Oh, god damn it, not this shit again. Yeah, be like that. I'm like, oh, I really have to play Aqua for the 500th time? Like I, I I you know I really I really want like Shizuku is a good card. I'll, I'll I would play Shizuku or Emma over I, but again that red splash that red tug, especially in this set, just makes you go, oh damn it! I have to run this. I have no other choice. Right. As was, like you were saying, red, red is very much like the chore that you have to do, but you prefer not to do if you could help it. <sighs> You know, I, I'm really hoping, like, it, it, and of course, future reveals. You know, you know, um, future set reveals is, aren't helping. Re aren't helping the case. Like, um, for those of you who haven't looked at the Gochi Yusu spoilers, I'm going, man, these a level one, like the DZ the DZ package going to the one one into the two two standby combo. Just it's like, uh, oh god, this is a two two ten k state. Standby combo that can net me card advantage without even comboing. Like this is ridiculous. I I'm just going sure that's an innovation, sure, but uh, it's also oh. absurd. <laughs> like it's, like it, they it, had they had go to red of all colors. I guess what's the question here? It's like really Jesus Christ. They they know their audience is basically their is basically my my point. They know their audience, and they know their audience. Like their audience will literally go out of their way to play play standby trigger. No matter what responses they print, like no matter what responses they print up for it, literally Japan's Japan slash a lot of a lot of US players will ignore it entirely and call it a meme if you do play it. It it it, it just kind of infuriates me when again they come up with answers to standby, yet everyone's like, why would I play that? But any anyway, back to I here. I'm just going. Oh. Do we? Uh, I mean, man, do we? Do we need to talk about this card limited? I don't think we need to. No, it's it's, what, it's pretty much one of those. You see it, you take it, cause it's like it's, it will probably just. It's <laughs> it's, it'll it's, probably, it's that good. It'll, it'll probably win you the pot. So, <laughs> um, I think it's time for verdicts, gentlemen. Before before I just go off. I remember I used to like give these profiles a playable plus, but now I'm kind of like, do I really value Aqua profiles that much this very day? Not as much, but it's still a solid playable to me. Yeah, it's gonna be a playable for me as well. It's not amazing, but you know, it's hard to like deny like that value that it does give you. I'm I'm so bored. Give me the playable. I I'm just so bored of these by now. Yeah. That's pretty much why it's come down to. <laughs> All right, we will move on. Emotional power, Setsuna Yuki. Continuous. If all your characters are music, this card gets uh, two care. Auto, when this card is put on the stage from your hand, you may put the top card of your clock into your waiting room. And auto, climax combo, pay two, ditch one. 
at the beginning of your encore step, if Rainbow Rose Setsuna Yuki, uh, Soul Standby Trigger, is in your climax area, if you have six or fewer cards in your hand, you may pay the cost. If you do, deal two damage to your opponent. From fucking back row. From back row. No, it's really funny because in uh, Love West Royal Festival All Stars, when this when this card first came out, and she's a she's one of those eliminating fest cards, by the way. Um, it got to a point where English person like, if I don't pull this, I'm quitting, because she was she doesn't get power crept and kill Kong on fest card releases. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, and I thought Japan was all about all about engagement optimization. Like trying to keep players, you know, keep keep players playing their playing their mobile game. Right, it was just more like well, K, K, you know, well, West Squiggle Festival All Stars is very much more of an RPG like game versus the original Squiggle Festival that they made. And they, when they first made Emotional Power Setsuna, uh, the 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 card in a mobile game, they honestly just didn't really know what they were doing at the time. <laughs> What like oh now of course if you had asked me back in January I'd be like oh hell no this card is broken right the fact that you can like play the standby still have this in your back row and still pop off combo it, it's pretty ridiculous you know this this is one of the cards that motivated me to get this set uh, I'm going um set yeah this sets in a creature very powerful man. Yeah, you uh, can even just sack uh, into it too, like just like mid turn. Like if 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 you don't like already like like have it or have access to it, you can like hit that standby, and like just get another one. Like you you know because you, you hard play your your uh, like the first one to the back, and then if you hit another standby, you can have like double combo ready, which is pretty pretty neat. Right, like chances are with a standby combo like this. At least one of them came out via the standby trigger. Now, of course, the burn two is kind of expensive here. I get, yeah. I, I get, I get, it was, I get it was done that way because they know that at least one, like, it's like it's what I just said earlier, at least one gets going to be brought out for free via standby. Right, right, right. But, unironically, this is the same cost as most finishers. This is the standard cost, two and a card. So I don't see why people like. Of course, I like Setson as a character. I do, but at the same time, I'm going. Uh, there are better finishes in this set. More than when we get to blue. You could make the argument uh, either or, honestly speaking. <laughs> tr true, true. Setson has has amazing bulk and. Has that cursed heal, man. A, a bushy. The, the, this is not funny. Never has been. Like, this card doesn't even need to attack. This card doesn't... I, I'm inferring that you didn't... That you have both of these in back row. This card doesn't even attack. Like, what? That's ridiculous. Uh, right. It's, yeah, almost like, it's almost like you're playing Aqua Force in Vanguard. <laughs> anyway, Andy, I'm sorry for, sorry for interrupting you. <laughs> Oh no! I think like the biggest draw to this card is a, is just like how little setup you need. Like basically, all you need is just like your 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 uh, your standby. That's all you need for 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 you to like actually pop off from this. Right. It, like, like, yeah. Like, sure. It the is, more like, you have, you know, the better, obviously. Yeah, it is like moderately costed, and it's not like OP. It's not you know it's not like overwhelming or oppressive. But I think why i like it and why i chose to kind of like build like the eight standby um list was because of just like how easy you can just like roll into this like what like once level two comes out um i mean once you hit level two you're kind of just like trying to like repeatedly do this like turn after turn and um your, your opponent can't really do much about it in, just, like, in, you know, in a way in a way kind of like a you're paying a cost to like guarantee an extra instance of damage as early as level two, which is pretty ridiculous. Uh, yeah, that's pretty absurd. I, I, I I'm just going, man. It, it's hard to eliminate this at two. Like, especially uh, it's like, if in, it's in a back row of all places. I'm going. Uh, let's see here. 
okay, I need to either pay a bunch of bunch of resources via anti change counter. I pretty much have to pay a bunch of resources via anti change counter just to get rid of this, and my opponent just goes, sure. She's dead. Oh, look, guess what I just triggered, man? Oh, what? Another standby. Guess who's back? Yeah, it definitely like discourages like any changing because like you know what your opponent is gonna like ruin their hand or just ruin all of their stock just to get rid of rid of a card you got for free. Like you know what I mean? That that if they do that, then you pretty much won that turn. Yeah, it, it, could, it could be it could be pretty ridiculous. What with like what this card could like ask from opponents. Sessina's really good bait for anti change. Right. And. The correct answer is don't. Just let just let them get away with it. That's the correct answer in a lot of cases because, honestly speaking, okay, what are you fearing? The two damage from her and what the burn? Sure, but again, Sess and I feel is kind of underwhelming. Like if you had asked me three months ago, I'd be like, hell no, this card is broken. Op op op, bend this now, Bushy. What are you doing? But having played the card, I'm just going, eh, says says I. I, she's a pretty good card. She ain't broken. Yeah, it's definitely like a, it's 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 less of like, oh, here's like your big finisher, your big like wombo combo piece, and more of like a, more of like a piece that gives you like momentum. Yeah, I see the argument Rather... for momentum. All right, yeah. and as for the big, like, <laughs> double R and no. five mass rare, you're funny. No. Uh, uh oh, oh oh oh! When compared with a certain when this paired up with a certain blue card, um no pulls no. All right, uh, verdict time then or? Yeah, I think it's time for verdict time. All right. You know what? I'm gonna have to give our my former best girl a playable, and I I don't begrudgingly say that this time. And, you know, fair, fair enough, you can make the argument that she's not the end all be all of Nishikasaki in terms of top ends. I do like her over Rina in general, and like, Rina was not terrible. Um, I do like the fact that, like, you know, Eddie brought up a good point, that you could do this as early as level 2, and it's almost like you're playing with the Mirai ticket package all over again. So I think just because of that potential, I am actually forced to get this playable plus anyway. Like, extra instances at level 2 are pretty dangerous. Yeah, I mean, I'll go ahead and give this a playable plus. I'm pretty biased toward, like, this, you know, like like you said, like, like the damage potential um, at level 2, just because, like, I'm, like, a really huge Sunshine fan. And um, you, you, you don't feel bad for, like, hard playing this because, like Gavin said, like, this does give you, like, a heal. Oh, tell me, guys, if she's in a front row, she's still a formidable 11,000. Yeah, just for playing the game. Like, you, yeah, it's, 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 it's. That you could look like, unless you're playing against like some weird, like someone who does the madman strat of literally making you, making you lose traits. <laughs> what? Then you are golden. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Where do you play? And can I come? <laughs> Where where is this madman? <laughs> All right. You know, fuck, you know what? Fuck it. I'll join you, gentlemen. All right, you, fuck it, you guys. We persuaded you. <laughs> yep. I was like, extra instance that of extra instance of damage of which you OP. Man, I took it yell OP. Man, I took it yell OP. <laughs> and man, I took it yell to four. Let's fucking go, boys. Oh man. All right. We'll move on from here. All right. We have Passion Greg, Sessing a Yuki. Level zero zero cost two thousand power. On play, you may surveil one, and when your corpse is put in your corpse area, you may bounce her to give a character plus one soul until end of turn. Nifty, it's a surveil. Hey, look, more reason to play standby. It's mm. a recyclable surveil. That was for soul pumps. <laughs> this is like, wait. They're really trying to push us towards the standby, I swear. It, like, well, Ayumu is like the. Well, when you get Nishikasaki, are you was like a titular character in a way? Very much so. I mean, come on, man, come on, man. But, but like, she's like, not like, a new type, though. She's not like new. Well, no, no, no. She, she, she could be. She could be Judo. She could be Judo Oscar. Okay, okay, fair enough. 
and her full armor double Z Gundam man. <laughs> hey, why not? Yeah. Uh, or are, are, are we going? Are we going to leave? Are we going to leave that role to uh, Shibuya Kano from the Yellow instead? But she's actually uh, orange haired. Yeah, that was what I say, man. New type, new types so, are always orange haired. So stem, so a spin-off main character becomes. Uh, Don't one cross you. We call. Oh, oh, you have a good point. Nishikasaki actually is unironically almost like G Gundam. I was about to be like, is it more like, uh, Erg A Gundam? No. No. No, it's not like the 0080 franchise, either. 0079 or 0080 franchise either, man. Yeah, I, 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 uh, and I was like, no, not quite like Wing either. If anything, Wing would be more like, uh, Liella. Liella. But I, I would, five of them. But I would, I would, I would, I wouldn't call the yellow. But I think the yellow because it is the actual third generation. It has to be double Zago. <laughs> oh god damn it! Okay, so back to Passion Red here. Yo da, yo dumb, yo. This is actually worthy of being a rare. Yeah, I agree. Oh, Is limited. Andy, what, Andy, what say you? Um, yeah, th this this definitely like um is one of the cards. That'll like encourage you to like play standby. It, it it you know the fact that it does give soul like kind of fills up like you know one of the biggest like draw drawbacks of standby like it not, not really pushing damage. Right and, um, and recyclable surveil very powerful in yeah. standby decks. Yeah, if you if you like kind of like mix this with like the brainstormer, then you can like potentially like kind of scry for three, which is like not which is like not that bad. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is definitely like. Yeah, you you definitely kind of like want to at least maybe take one or two in these like in your build if you're doing standby. Oh, and also this also this makes standby not not make not make you neg. Hey, look, I can bounce sets in them and place my standby target there. Yeah, no, I, I really like the design of this. I, I like that it's also not tied to a specific climax whatsoever. True, but this might as well be tied to a standby, man. Might as well be. <laughs> Uh, hello? And we, and we got, we got, we got like three of those things. Oh, damn. Actually, we do have three of those things, excuse me. <laughs> Imagine uh, that, you know, Ga debut set of a, of a Neo Stagger title has three epic standby choices. <laughs> we have like one gate, don't we? Yeah, well, no, you think we have two. Try, uh, try out Dead Door. Oh! That's, all, that's what I was referring to, the trial deck. Well, I thought we only got one of the trial deck, that's it. Uh, oh, no, 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 there's an eye combo. Oh, oh, okay, okay, yeah, I don't remember that one. <laughs> anyway, um, anyway, that's, that's, that's too much of a spoiler. Um, uh, pa Passion Red here, you know what, I'm giving this girl the playable, let's go. You're giving her about women, dude. Uh, uh, if you, in limited, um, standbys, man. You're building a standby? Standby is definitely viable in limited, yes. And, and kill my climax combo, comment spoiler alert. Let's fucking go. Yeah, I'll, I'll agree with the playable. I, I you know, this, this is definitely one of the... If you're going for more of a red heavy build, definitely. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah this is definitely, like, a playable. Like, there's, there, there's no reason, kind of, like, not to run this card if you're doing, like, really, like, a red dominant standby deck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All, right. All right, next. Let's go Boom Boom I, 101k. She's a frontal five, went... When you trigger check a soul icon, give one of you guys 2k, and tap give 500. And this itself has a soul icon. Yo dog, when, since when did they start making free shit with soul icons? Yes. Yes, holy shit. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you remember a guy, uh, what was it, Asuna and Alice uh, bomb? Oh yeah, I, I, that, that, my, my monitor ate some Pepsi that, after that reveal. Oh, oh, oh. Rip. And man, and man, that is worth that. That that is worth. That is my monitor. My monitor. My monitor service will be honored. Anyway, uh, uh, gross monitor aside. Um, that's that's a, that's a lot. That's a lot of power. That, that could happen by 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 playing Vanguard. <laughs> uh, trigger check. Well, trigger check a soul icon. Oh damn it! So this doesn't check this. 
It's not per soul icon, you gain 2,000. No. That's just a magic double, double, trigger double soul icon and gets to gain 4k. Or gets to gain 2k not, twice. <laughs> yeah, why not, man? No, I, I, I think I think they're really trying to avoid what they did with uh, that old AF uh, Yoga Mesh combo. Uh, the one where he just launches missiles at everybody. Yes. Okay. Um, but Frontal Five, man, why could this have been a global? And tap get five hundred FR. What do I need to? They have what? to make it fair, okay. I mean, what do I need to kill? Like, what needs reversals in this stuff besides Shiriko? Like, yeah. Oh, no, Andy. What, Andy, what say you? Yeah, this is pretty underwhelming. Like, um, you know, the, 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 the auto effect of giving something 2K is nice, but if you don't, you know, if you don't trigger a soul icon, then... You kind of just hate this card like instantaneously. Like you hate this card if you don't trigger. Like, right. Wait. Wait. You're supposed to come. So yeah, I guess like we're going to see like I think three or so cards that literally twin drive. So you're supposed to like combine this with that to increase your chances of getting this off. What is this Vanguard? I I think I made that pretty clear. <laughs> I I, I I literally want to go play Vanguard and Watch Wars. What is I? A bunch of grade threes, man? Yes. Oh god damn it. Oh grade four is wet, man. What are we going to first stride? No, Boucher wants to go forget that strike uh, low key exists. There's a reason why Japan barely plays premium. Fair enough. <laughs> like like, like, oh. uh, you, like you, you go to Japan, attempt to play Vanguard, who plays premium? Uh Chicago's tripping. I, I see. But in terms of let's go boom boom here, I don't know, man. Seems hella sus to me. Hey, let me go. Oh, no. 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 Like, as much as power matters, you're probably not building a deck with a Gorillion Soul, soul Trigger icons. Uh, does I Waifu want this? I want I Waifu does want this because uh, there's, there's an eye combo that literally presses off of Soul Triggers. Oh, okay, so, so uh, probably. I, I'm going to have to say, yeah, I'm, I'm going to actually say this year, because cause, uh, I waifu, or, or I centric building. Fine, 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 niche this. Alright, and what about you, Andy? Are you more, are, are you, are you perhaps more uh, cruel yeah. to this? I almost want to give it a... A uh, oof. I almost want to get a oof, but you know what? Just the fact that it's playable in some context gives it the niche. Like it's saved, but like, like if you guys give it like the oof, then I definitely would probably just join. It. Like, uh, I, 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 much... I, I, okay, fair, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. But yeah, but I was like, yeah, uh, there are there are cards that literally will plus off of soul triggers. So yeah. Anyway, we'll if, move you, on. if you didn't mention that, I would have quoted this by now. All right, and we will see that car popping up uh, in about like uh, thirty minutes or so. We'll, 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 we'll oh, see. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. All right, we'll move okay. on. Okay. Next. Resonant of a power. Resonant of powerful sound. Uh, Setuna Yuki. Auto accelerate. Put the top card of your deck into your spot. When you use this backup of this card, you may pay the cost. If you do, look up to the. Top four cards of your deck, reveal up to one music character amongst them, add it to your hand, put the rest of the remaining cards in the waiting room, choose one of your characters in battle, and it gets 1k till the end of turn, and act, counter, uh, 1k. Um, oh, what was that one girl from Kanokadi who's literally a clone of that? Was it also a uh, red card? No, it's a blue card. Oh, okay, it, it, it was Ruka. Yeah, it's Ruka. Okay, I, I was gonna say I was gonna say Tomoe, but wrong, wrong girl, same actress. This guy. Anyway, um, ding, dinging ourselves at level one. Ow. Hey man, it's a bloody can trip. Okay. It's a can trip. Don't get me wrong. Can trip I ding myself for? That's what fate does all day long, man. 
See, or at least fate, used fate, to do. Fate, fate, fate does things differently. Fate, fate has this thing called Global Cock Uncle. True. And fate doesn't care about hurting itself. Cause, cause, cause it's gonna, it's gonna heal more than it gains itself. Or unquote it's, heal, excuse me. You, they stop taking damage, man. <laughs> Uh, 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 imagine being able to actually shuffle your wave back into your deck without taking uh, this thing called refresh point. Every t uh, and and they refresh like eight turns a game, eight times a game, man. And no, they haven't no, taken. No. They, they, they only took like two refresh points, if, if that. What? <laughs> That's broken, man. <laughs> anyway, uh, Fade aside, I, I I wanted to like this card, but. Because that's the same problem as the Ruka, you just really don't want to hit yourself when it comes time for level 1 because the game's getting so fast in terms of soul damage output that that one card could easily be uh, the borderline of life and death. Yo, if this had a trigger, I would have considered it. If this had a fair, trigger... Fair enough, but it would have to be an eye card. Uh, and I like Setsuna much more than I, so... Yeah, this is fine if, like, you know you're in a really bad deck state and it's kind of worth the ping one just to, like, go through your deck because you know you're just going to eat all of it. But other than, other than like, outside of that, um, yeah, this is pretty, like... Uh, the only you know, time I would ding myself for the ability to do something about my deck is Sunny Day Song Umi from Original Love Life. Yo, yeah. that's like taking refresh point. That refresh point is that that er, that pre-entered refresh point can possibly prevent me from taking twelve straight. True. <laughs> I'm about to say, man, you guarantee took that refresh point, so oh, uh, you took that of your own volition too, so. Right, but at least at least I'm not letting the deck of thirteen cards with one coin max uh, be my undoing. True. And that'd be the same situation where I would want to use this, but at the same time, I would, like, just going through top four, like, no. I, I, I'm not overall not a fan. I, I'm not, I'm not either, but, like, the positive look I see of this card is it's a cantrip, literally. This cantrips you immediately. Hey, that's for the No. Oh, no. you, you dragger. No, no, you're already clocking as it is. I don't know. Maybe Andy has a different insight. Andy, can you save this one? Yeah, I I, I really want to. Like, um, this is definitely more of like a winning more card. This is not something to get you like out of a bad situation. Hmm, winning more, you say? Yeah, like it's just like you're just like high in the damage, and you just want like want to like fix fix your fix your hand, you know, by by ditching this and maybe like top checking for four. Um, cause you know, we don't have like an actual, like Akatsuki where we can grab anything off the top four. Um, yeah, it's, it's really hard to kind of save this card other than like, if you're ahead of like, in, ahead of the, in the damage race, like you're just, you know, low one, maybe one, one or one zero and your opponent just kind of just ate a bunch of damage for whatever reason. Maybe you don't mind throwing this down just to like, you know what I mean? Uh, um, I, I see the argument there. I, I, I can see it as well. I can see your argument. But if if you're not like in that specific deck state or game state, uh, yeah, like I would, you would just feel like really bad if you had to play this card. All right, I think that's about time for a verdict. I'm gonna, I'm still gonna be forcing myself to gifting this year. Like it's not a terrible card, but it's a card that's only useful in like a very small number of scenarios. Andy. Yeah, um, you know, I'll be nice and give this a playable minus because it is a 2k backup. Like, it, it will at least save something. I just just like a 2k, or like the additional 1k is tied to dinging yourself. What did I give the, what did I give the Ruka version? Do you remember? If I gotta go all the way back to that point, uh, give me a bit here. Um, what did I give the Ruka version? Because I have to give her the same rating. Give Setson to hear the same rating. I mean, I, I, there's a very good chance that it's probably the same, but I'll, I'll, I'll confirm on my end. Do you remember what card number that was? Because I don't. 
No, it's somewhere in the blue section. I know that much. Somewhere but... in the blue section. Oh boy. Okay, run a girlfriend blue. I'm gonna try skipping around here, see if I can somehow find a darn card. Oh, it shouldn't. It shouldn't be that deep in. She was like, what? She was a rare or something? I believe she was a rare. Which would make sense because that's thing I hear is a rare. And this is better than Kanokati, man. <laughs> this set's already better than Kanokati. Right. You sure it was a blue card, not a green card, right? It's a blue card, yes, 100%. Okay. Wait, like, where's the double? Up? Um. She only had one, like two double rares, dude. I actually remember she was also in the green color of the set, so... Oh yeah, true, true, true. But the, the, but the green cards, they have Accelerate, right? No, none of the green cards have Accelerate. Having trouble, like, actually finding... Oh, I just find it? I need to wait for this to buffer and load. Uh, okay, I, I just literally found the card. Oh, uh, where's the verdict? <laughs> And before this got quoted. <laughs> How long did we spend? We did not spend that long talking about. Uh, no, no, the entire no, but the video cast was like what two and a half hours? Uh, no, it was only an hour and a half. Oh, okay. Well, then again, there wasn't any mommy nanamis in blue, so. Uh, give, give me a bit here to find where this rating is. This is what happens when, I, when you don't keep the... Uh, oh gosh, sorry, I, I already skipped it. Come on, YouTube, don't do that. Oh, playable minus is what you gave it. I'm forced to give it the playable minus here. I, I like to remain consistent, but I think the game has just sped up too fast. <laughs> it's only been two months, dude. It's only been two months. And this says our guess this, this has already proven that we can go pretty fast in two months. Uh gotta go fast like Sanic. What did you give it? We we both gave it a playable minus. Oh okay. Well I'm forced to give it the playable minus here. I'm forced to. I'm not, gotta remain I'm, 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 I especially long remain consistent. I just think that I, I now look at myself like I'm a fool to give this a playable minus back then. <laughs> so that's how I'm seeing it. Um, eh, 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 bushy. I'm Ben Junior Pulse. Gosh darn it. Anyway, um, if, before we before we go into that territory, we'll move on. We now have Daily Progress Ayamu Uehara 105k Auto Climax Combo when it's card attacks. If Rainbow Rules Ayamu Uehara, so standby triggers. That's a climax combo. It's in your climax area. And if you have two or more other mystic characters, Bushiro, please, I ask you, please stop playing those conditions. They're very difficult to meet. It's really, really difficult. Review the top two cards in your deck. Your opponent chooses one character or event amongst those cards. Act that card to your hand and bend the rest. Okay, looks at this card. This card is amongst, amongst official spoilers. Man, why do I feel underwhelmed by this piece of trash? Uh, you, 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 you blame uh, Music of Bonds, uh, Taye? Yeah, that card, uh, when I first read that card, I was like, Yo, dog, this card sounds OP as fuck. Actually plays against it. Here, dog, have that 2-2 every time. <laughs> I, I would say that, so, you know, the reason why I bring up Music of Bonds, Kaya Hong and Zongo, so she had pretty much a similar clause where it's top 3 instead of top 2, and your opponent gives you one of them, you get to keep up to one as a trigger, and you know the rest. This is powerful in banking specifically because of Toilet. Still... And Ayumu, yeah. now Ayumu, I feel like being more of like, the reduction of two is more of a double-edged sword. Two means there's fewer chances that you're running to shitty cards that your opponent can give you. But two could say, also mean that your opponent may have only the shitty card to give you. Hey, here, have fun with that tutu, man. <laughs> but I, I don't know, Angie. I don't know if you have any experience with playing uh, with this or Taiye or both. Yeah, this was the first combo that I tried playing when I just uh, first got the set. Um, you definitely have to build around it. This is not something that you can splash in if you're running your 1-1 uh, eyes and your 2-2 eyes. 
Because, yeah, I mean, they're just going to throw you just like the garbage that's like, completely unplayable. And it's going to just be like a dead card in your hand. Um, at, you know, they're just giving you clock fodder at that point. Um, if you're building something with like a lot of more free cost to play, um, this is fine. It's okay. Um, the most that honestly doesn't set me back the fact that your opponent can control which which you plus off of. Um, what does is the fact that it's only five k and kind of just it's you're you're basically ramming this in to die, which is pretty feel bad. Right. At least Taye was a six k that gets an additional one k with her combo. Yeah, yeah. This just sits there and just dies. This doesn't run over anything. That's probably the worst part about this card. On top of that, because it's standby, you're also not doing extra soul damage. So you're ramming the shitter in for one? Got it, sir. Yes, that's pretty feels bad. Um... You know, what's what's funny is Kaguya-sama plays, plays a Shimakaze on a 105k with a standby. I'm like, FR? <laughs> the Shimakaze isn't killing anything. Like, and it, it, Kaguya Sama is very much an RDW deck for most players, right? Right. I mean, I'm just going, bruh. This deck is this deck screams Japan. But even even though I would value the Kaguya Ayumu here, is because if I do manage to get the reverse, I at least get a free tutor off of it. Ayumu? Oh god, my opponent's gonna give me the shitty card every time! Right, and you know, as much as Andy like says about like trying to build around a card, it's not like you're prone to not hitting a shitty card, right? Like, you know, like, you are playing level 3, so you are playing probably a level 2 or some. Like, Those are simply uh, unusable early on. Like, like I, I'd rather just say fuck it and play four homepage reveals, and, and play a blank and play blank standby. Right, and just use that for card advantage all day. Right, like like, like I I get what you're trying to go at with this. Like you're trying to go like, you know, here 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 here's a standby karmic combo that could get you know, incentivize you to like you know play this card and like gain quote unquote advantage. But what use is advantage if it's like not immediately usable, right? It's the diva problem all over again. Sure, you can have 500 cards in hand. If they're all garbage, who cares? It's one of those... Look. This, like, the worse your opponent is, the better Ayumu is. But on this show, we're assuming that everybody's a bona fide superstar at this game. On top of that, like, what's also like ironic is that Creamy Berry Ayumu doesn't really help this card. Oh, sure, I could rearrange my top two that I'm going to show my opponent anyway. Right, like, it's just kind of ironic, right? Like, you're supposed to, like, call, you're supposed to kind of, like, use this in, like, it, it, it's just almost puzzling, right? I, I, I almost wish that Creamy Berry was a, surve was a surveil one instead. I could mill away a shitty option. Or, or you know, it could be something like, uh, it could be like one of those, um, what was cards that says, look at up to top two, Take one to put it back on top. Your one goes to the waiting room. That would oh been, yeah, that'd be a, that would have been amazing. I would love that, but you know, but a uh, 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 last missed opportunity. Like or even the re like Rimuru from Slime is a is a vanilla that twin drives for free. Like I would have preferred that over Ayuma. I'm just going. Ugh. Unfortunate. Like, this card is just so bad. Andy, can you save Ayubu here or no? No, yeah, like can there's, there's the can Limiga can Limiga save Ayumu? It's probably a better question. No, no, because oh, similar reasons oh. as in constructed. Even though you're probably running a lower ratio of level two than three in Limiga. Have fun with that garbage level zero, man. That's not gonna kill anything. And then bulk madness. Yeah. The only thing that could save this card is after you basically like surrender this lane because you're you're crashing it like most of the time. If you trigger like a standby on your other lanes, then yeah, then fine. You don't care about crashing this card. That's pretty much like the only scenario like where 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 this you know where this is fine because yeah, just it being only five k 
and no way to really, you know, get bigger than that is pretty bad. I say that's worse than like um, your opponent giving you like a really shitty card. Because if, even if your opponent gives you a really shitty card, at least you can clock it for two cards next turn. Right, that's that's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, I, 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 I guess this card's not complete garbo. Oh no, no, you're not gonna like what I'm gonna have to say. I, 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 I was tempted to give it the oof, but I will beat Ayumu with thirty shoes for her insolence. Oh, I, I, I do not like this combo, man. Oh, man. Too many negatives. You know what? I'll, I'll be merciful. I'll be merciful. You know, yeah, this is pretty... Uh, yeah, it, it, it does something. But not but not very well. I'll give it... I'll be really nice. I'll be very, very generous and give it the playable minus. Okay. Wow. You know, fair, fair enough. I respect. Complete, I respect. I, re I respect. I respect the opinion. Complete divergence on opinion here. Okay. That's why when you have uh, up kick read variables, right? Yep. That's why. That that that's why that's that's why we brought Andy on. <laughs> All right. Let's move on from here. I love you. I. Two two five five. This gains one thousand for each of your other musics. She's a twin drive, and she has hand on core. Recurable Twin Pretty Driver. Much. Yeah, I, I, as we mentioned earlier, I literally want to play Car Fight. Why isn't this a level? Why isn't this, why isn't this a level three for flavor reasons, man? Uh, again, game will be too hard to bring out. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But I actually remember. Okay. I actually remember, Gavin. You bring out a great three on turn three in Vanguard. Are you playing level oh, three? Yeah. Are you playing level three on turn three in Westworld? No. No. Not, not unless everything went horribly wrong. <laughs> went horribly wrong. Um. Oh boy. You know, honestly, I'm probably going to be the odd one out here. I'm probably going to be the meanest of in this um, one because I'm just going. We 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 we'll, we'll see who could be meaner. This is small. The twin drive does not make up for it, in my opinion. It was free twin driving some way, but last. Oh, oh, oh now you, we're fucking talking, you, boys. You, you know what would be neat? Here, here's the each way fixes card. When this card's trigger check reveals a card with a soul trigger icon, perform one more trigger check. Once per turn. Yo! Yo! Yo I, get, she... I, I get by doing that, I literally fixed the card. She triple drives. Hell yeah. No, 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 no. Once per turn, Gavin. When you rev- uh, No. Damn it! No, I, 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 I actually, I actually be fair here. <laughs> I want to say about each I triple drives now? Let's fucking go! Oh, no, 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 Calm down, calm down, calm down. Now, of course, I'm just going... Look, I'm looking, I'm looking for bulk in my tutus, okay? Uh, I'm looking for some bulk here. Right, wait, when we, when we get things like, uh... We're starting to see, like, what? We see a bunch of recurbo ten fives recently, right? And hell, even Riri from Assault Lily is a fucking eleven k with recurbo man. No, the eleven k is depending on your opponent, right? But most opponents are gonna cock it, man. Uh, I'm I, I'm starting to see more and more people play with only one back row card. Oh, fair. Where do you play? Can I come? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can game a quite a number of decks that literally only play with one back row card. Ah, uh, fair enough. Or they don't care. I'm Golden Winds, Lamau. <laughs> okay, your go go Golden Winds means that you're standby. You, unless they Oops. low roll or you high roll up the wazoo, uh, you probably Oops. lost that matchup. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I, I, I don't know, Andy. I I, I think out of the three of us here, you have the most experience with this card specifically. So let's let's hear what you have to say. Yeah, this, I mean, obviously this is probably like one of the biggest reasons why you would maybe even buy into this set or maybe even just play standby in general. Um, you know what? Yeah, it is understated, right? But this is the first, what, what I believe is the first uh, Y set to have eight standby 
but also a twin dreads. And yeah, I think you kind of have to like approach this card with a different mentality other than, oh, okay, like just more traditional, big giant 2-2 wall, you can't get over it, kind of just crash your entire board. Mm. And kind of move on to like, oh, okay, like the fact that you have a twin drive should mean you should abuse that and try to like accelerate your board state. And this is, yeah. So like once you have this out with like your 1-1 one -one or something, um, yeah, it can get pretty nutty. Just the fact that you're always paying out stock, you're always paying out your standbys, you're always paying out important cards. Um, it gives you like a lot of control and like you kind of don't care about bulking up. You know, like um, if you kind of like go into it with like that mentality, then this card, you know, that's like the biggest argument like, against this, right? Oh, it's understated. It's constantly being reversed. But, you know, if, if, if this, you know, hits like a standby or pays out a standby or, you know, pays out something important, kind of done its job already. Hey, and, you know, no, you know, I, I, yeah. I, I will, I will not disagree on that. That is the purpose behind these twin driving I cards. It's just more of twin drive itself does not guarantee that I will, like, you know, high roll more standby necessarily, right? Oh no, no, but this the fact that you can trigger six times in one turn is pretty nuts. I mean, you're bound to hit at least a couple every turn. And, you know, um, it, it like I said, it, what's everyone's biggest complaint with standby? Oh, like the damage output, it doesn't shove for damage, right? Well, if you're triggering six times, you're either triggering, you know, standbys where you're going to, like, just, you know, make your board, like, really big, or you're just, you're, you're pushing for soul because you're constantly, you know, triggering soul. And your, your right. opponent's wondering, oh, your, your opponent's wondering, oh, like, yeah, like, everything is understated, but yet I'm, like, I got pushed to level two, or you know, like you know, I mean, that you know could I mean? happen. Like, you, you, you know, uh, like, here's your here's your like downside. I will I will like to speak of here. You don't mind where you know you over trigger standby triggers. You you may you know you you, you know board clock is an issue, right? Yeah, that's but that's at the same time that's almost like a first world problem. You know what I mean? Like you like it, you don't it, feel it can that. be. Or or another like example is probably something like you know. Maybe like especially with like especially like the one one I uh where you bring her out like you know you bring her out like level zero right she twin drives your weight room might simply not be enough to bring something out of. Well that level two you probably have a few more things, fair enough. But you know, yes I could have used you know, I give you an extra chance to set up for say emotional power sets You know, fair enough. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely. Like yeah, you can need just just the, the fact that like oh hey like I want I want to be able to stand by this trigger out right like like I don't want that character stuck in stock. You can pay it out if you have like you know like like a level three like your your one ofs your Musashi or you know like some tech card like you don't you really don't want in your stock. Just pay it out, and then you also have to have like the potential of like stand pushing by more. Again. Yeah, stand by again. Um, yeah, I mean like I, I'm I'm not like saying that it doesn't have like those downsides where like yeah whatever like you might clock your board that does feel very very awkward um you know like what if you do trigger like a bunch of standbys um so it does have that like working behind it but i think the f like you know the fact that you can abuse this like really really well with with that with like the one one um is kind of like i guess it may be maybe like underappreciated but I, I I I can see the argument against it, but um the twin drive like the the the, the twin drive mechanic definitely like outweighs like the demerit of it being understated. I feel like from uh, from, from playing from playing the deck for uh, maybe almost a week. Hey, okay, you know, you know, fair fair enough. I respect I respect your insights. Uh, as let's just speak about limited. It won't be terrible. In no, this card's gonna this card's gonna live for a while. Right, and you know, like we said, there, there's two climax common uh standby triggers so so eight standby is definitely worth worthy of it also you know what okay and he has a decent point you know he, there he, are he, some... he really could bring up but it's uh, quite the number of good points i i you know i'm willing like i i, I was like good I, you know low key i was gonna like kind of keep this thing around in my box for like forever low key but now i'm kind of like Andy, Andy might have made me give me. He might give me enough of a push that I might be willing to like test out playing this engine, just to like the, see for myself. 
how this is this how this could go. Right. I, in like, fact, like, I kind of want to try eight like, standby now. Like, 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 Gavin. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm sometimes I may, you know, show me and I'll believe you kind of person. Oh, I'm definitely a show me. I have to believe. I'll believe it with my own eyes. Yeah, yeah. I'll believe with my own eyes, but you know what? I'm willing to give eight standby a try. Actually. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I, I think the more guy, like, you know, the more guy I talk with, like you know, Andy here specifically, who's actually tried a standby like, off the gate. I'm kind of like, yeah, you know what? Let's actually see like how how that goes. Okay, you know what? All right, I I was a, I was I was tempted to quote this card, but you know what? I'll give her the playable minus now. Yeah, yeah. just like if you're like sitting across from this, and you have maybe like a two two and like a couple of one ones. Or even like a you know a couple of two twos and a one one, also with double um uh um, um uh of, of the one one Kasumi, then your your board does get pretty beefy and it kind of it kind of does solve like that understat problem. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you can pay out literally anything that you trigger forever. Right, that guy that is very powerful. So yeah, uh, playable magic is on my end. Thanks, Andy. You saved this card. Yeah, Andy did a very good job. Yeah, this. I mean, I mean, it isn't the end all be all. It is not, but I, I will admit this is pretty fun when you're piloting it. It's pretty like wacky, like just the fact like how fast you can go through your deck mm -hmm. and being able to constantly pay out stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a playable. I really like this card. Uh, no, fair, fair enough. Alrighty, we have a two parker next, so Andy will read the first part, I'll read the next. It's fun with lots of sounds. Ayumu, continuous experience. If the sum of your levels of your car, uh, if the level, I'm sorry, if the sum of levels of cards in your level area is four or higher, if this card is in your front row, all of your music characters get power uh, 1500. An auto climax combo, a pay one, ditch two from your hand. When this card is put on the stage via the ability of the climax to trust, uh, to you I trust, you may pay the cost. If you do, stand this card. This can be activated when when put to the stage by standby trigger ability of, of the same climax. Right. And we also have Reunion with the past Shiriko Mifune, level two, one cost, 5,000 power. She's at 1,000 assists and auto climax combo. When to you, I trust the same so standby triggers. Climax is in your comments area. You may pay one if you do uh, salvage one and all of your other. It's fun with lots of sounds. I am Uehara. Get R plus 1,000 and twin drive until end of turn. Okay. Well, gentlemen, does this remind you of something? Well, Ayumu by herself reminds me of two cards. There's, I believe it was, uh, I was going to say Alpaca or Lion from Kimono Friends. And, it's Lion. Okay, and Rico from uh, Sunshine. So if I'm not mistaken, they both cost the two stock and the two cards? No, it's one and two. I, I swore Rico said two and two cards. No, it's one and two. I'll, I'll, I'll double check later. But now, yeah, uh, doing, 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 you know, doing, doing, a, doing a funny thing of LOL trigger standby and bring on our character sounds pretty hilarious. And it gets to it, and it has haste. It has haste, like, you know, you know like, like Gavin, one of the funny things I did when I played Sunshine before 6th anniversary was. You know, do the Mirai Chicken Yoking, uh, you know, do four instances of damage. Oh, one well, of my, my second or third attack triggers. The one standby we had with Volume Two. Oh, bring out Rico, pay the cost. Oh, I, I get a fifth instance of damage at level two. <laughs> Sounds pretty nutty. <laughs> yeah, no. I just that 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 Rico from Volume Two. It actually is a uh, two stock and two cards. It so is. This, I was yeah, right. So this, this is power so this creeping. Actually, <laughs> this yeah, is this actual I, power that, creeping. A power creep. Yeah. I could, I could have sworn. Double check your lion now. <laughs> I don't have one on me. Rip. But I, I, I have a good feeling that lion's also pay two, ditch two. 
Fair enough. I I could have I could have sworn, but at the same time, man, just being able to put to push additional instances in standby is quite nice. Right, and combine that with like the twin driving that you get when you with I or even like he or Rico giving another copy of this uh twin drive, like it's quite possible. It, it, like it's very possible. And the fact that this is an this is an anthem as well, an anthem of fifteen hundred. What? To also herself, my boy. Why? With Kashi Rico, she's twelve five. Um. Oh, excuse me. No, no, she's thirteen five with the combo. Like Jesus Christ, she's massive. And you could do this as early as level two. Oh my goodness. When I first read that, I was like, oh, this isn't all that great. Like the more you talk about it, you're like you know what. <laughs> This sounds a lot better. This actually sounds pretty nutty. Right. Yeah. The 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 1500 power like gives everything like like a lot of stand power. Right. Like hello I that was previously very very tiny. Oh no. Now no, now, like... now that I becomes 95 11 with this, and you have to see your Rico and you pull her in front of that. That's a 12k recurring recurrable twin driver. Yeah. Like what? She's gigantic now. Right? Yeah, I put, I put, like, whoa. And then also, worst case scenario too, like, you, you don't feel that 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 bad if you have to hard play this, and like stand by it out and like immediately like give it haste. If you have like nothing else to do, like, if you have like no other options, and like this is like right, it's fine. Like, I, I, instead of paying two stock for a two stock bill, you're paying one and two cards. Fair like, enough. It's not the end of the world. Fair enough. It's definitely so, better than the previous pay two and discard two, that's for sure. So, standby targets having haste, you what? <laughs> uh, 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 are you Mr. Yes? Oh, uh, like, what? Okay, uh, ima no. Imagine this chopping, imagine this chopping you unlimited. Right, and in limited, it wouldn't even be that hard, like, you were just looking for one, like, minimum one, one rare, rare, a bunch of commons. Cool, and in and in limited, I want to grab the standby anyway. So yeah, like you you know what? I think after I talked about this and like going over in my mega, I was probably giving it a playable minus for both cards. But I'm like, you know what? This sounds even nuggier than than I anticipated. Playable. Yeah, same. Uh, I was thinking to myself, oh no, this is this is gonna be the niche of best. Uh, what? we we got be getting this year, Rico as well, Gavin. Yep, same. All right. Yeah. Oh so yeah. I, I, uh, same for me as well. Uh, you know, what's your Randy out here? Um, the the, the IMO is definitely a playable. Um, the like be, being able to bring it out. Um, and like give it haste is a lot more feasible with the twin drives. You know. Mm -hmm. So like again, like it just gives like it gives you more incentive. Like oh, like maybe I should favor these twin drives because of like stuff like this. Like just like mm -hmm. out of nowhere. Um, this is can be just like extra damage that your opponent they like, didn't really like account for. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, as far as like the two one, uh, it doesn't. Yeah, it it it, really, it doesn't do enough to make to like mm. to like you know to make me want to put it in a deck. Fair, I would give fair this a play enough. Yeah. Mind, the, 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 fair, fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. I I just really like that. Like you could play up to like twelve twin drivers. <laughs> That's pretty nutty. <laughs> like we're gonna actually play card fight standby. <laughs> Wait, is this a fan? Wait, are we playing Vanguard? Yes. Well, 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 welcome to Overdress. Well, <laughs> in before Niji Kasaki goes to Vanguard, boys. I swear, if for some reason gets somehow failed to sell, <laughs> they might actually do it. Wow. <laughs> I mean. Look at Bang Dream, it's been in literally every card game that Bushio has made, um, well, okay, well not every card game, but like, every card game I, I like, that's, that's still alive. That's still alive. Well, I mean, Buggy Fight is gonna die, but even it got Bang Dream. Is dead. Is, is dead to me. It's dead to me. <laughs> Alright. Give, give us Geki Joe, god damn you. You're really gonna try to put Rebirth in a hostage position for that, aren't you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll we'll move on from here. We also have another two-parter. 
All right. So we have Ayumu zero zero five hundred. If all, all of your all of your stairway to dreams, Ayumu Uehara, the trial deck combo, get a thousand. There's a global five, and you may tap this if you have a character with experience. Choose one card in your level area and one card from your grave and swap them. All right, and Angie will read the combo. Steroid of Dreams, Ayumu. Auto, when this card is uh, put on the stage from your hand, this gets uh, 1,500. And uh, Auto, Climax Combo, when this card's battle opponent becomes reversed. If Tomiki Runners is in your uh, Climax area, look up to four cards on the top of your deck, reveal up to one music character from amongst them, add it to your hand, put the remaining cards in the waiting room, choose one of your characters, and it gets level plus one and 15k. Thank you, Michelle, for forcing us to go back to the trial deck when I really didn't want to for that card. <laughs> um, wait a second. That was a double rare in Revue Starlight. F or Bushy? It was also a double rare in uh, I Go Master Singing Roman Girls. True. F or Bushy? And double rare combos in, in, in trial decks now? What are you doing? Well, remember, Electron Diva, Hussie and Miku also was a double rare. Also got pushed to the trial deck. That was a long time ago, man! Those combos to speak of were... Well, the second Roller Girls version was a pretty long time ago. The Revit Star Wars version was not that long ago. Which makes me go F4? Oh, like, it was like, what, a solid three to four years? I remember Revit Star Wars coming out in 2019, man! Uh, that's the real life set. Yeah, this is from real life, dude. Oh, that's, a, that's, that's, a, that's a that's a real life combo. Oh fuck! Yeah. That's like a set one combo. No, that's just that's a set two combo, man. <gasps> oh fuck! It was on a Karen too. Damn. Uh, 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 I'm just going. What? Sasu this is a TV card now. Sasu go bushi. What's what's next? Aqua trial decks. 2024 question mark. Oh, Jesus Christ, no. Anyway, um, well, right, let's unpack this, shall we? A global fight also gets 1k to a climax match combo from a trial deck. Turns this thing to a 5 into vanilla step, 7k on play, 8k with the climax, 8k with the climax, against snowball the fuck from your way there, because that's what uh, me on me. Profiles are known for doing. Yep, this is bigger than Minami and Karen. Like, I mean, I mean, that at least makes this combo more, more tempting if people want to play doors. It's, it, 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 it's also it's also deck mill at level one. Right, and and you know the Ayumu herself here is also a level swap if you really need it. Right, she allows you to be greedier with your combo. I mean. It, it, like this card is like this combo isn't god awful. No, it, it turns this combo from being like what would have been like a niche or playable minus to maybe something a little higher? Question mark. I mean, she's 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 eight k power, six k toughness, man. So you can find a counter amongst those top four. She's defendable. Yeah, eight k eight k is a is is a is technically a good range. I don't know. Wait, wait, Andy, what say you? Um, this is definitely serviceable. Um, yeah, there's, there's, there's like a, you know, there, there's not that much cards that, uh, that deal with like experience, but like maybe like in future sets, like, um, this can definitely be like a lot more, of, a lot more playable. Hmm. Um, that's a, yeah, it's like the best, it's a best, the best budget option. It's a good blessing, uh, blessing combo. It can get up to eight, five, like you can cap, that's where it caps. Um, and it's on a gate, which is, you know, one, one of like the nicer triggers. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. This. Yeah. It's. It's like. It's hard to look back at the other, um, Ayumu combo that's on a standby and not be like, oh, like, why? Why should I just run this? This just seems so much more nicer. Right. You just run the T. Like what? Well, like the other. The, the Ayumu combo on standby just goes. Why would I play this? Oh, over the TD combo. Like, honestly speaking, she, like, I can see. I can see a reason to play this. Oh. Yeah, like second Favorite place to Shio Rico combo. Over second place to Shio Rico, honestly speaking. Yeah, I can actually see that as well. So like, I was about to give it. I was about to give like this. You no, know, after talking about, or, 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 or let's get one down the way. 
in Limited, only the bottom two senses of this card matters. Do you really need those senses in Limited? Global no. 5, maybe. The Global Swap, probably not. Because opening TDs and limited, no. What well, I'm, I'm talking of just about two senses. So like, global oh, five, okay, global, okay. global five is neat. Uh, the level swap almost never needed if you're doing things right. Right. And um. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll actually be pretty nice to both of these. I, I think I think I could actually make the argument that, that these are playable. Yeah, playable definitely. Because yeah. On, oh, go ahead, Eddie. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give it the same as a playable. Um. Yeah, it's it's pretty neat that at, at least this level one combo has some sort of package with it. Like there's support for your level one combo, and you don't have to run like really wonky one ofs or something to like give pumps. You know, like this can stick around and you know just give you like continuous value for sure. Um, this is better. This is you, better than the better, Fumi combo, right? Isn't it? Wait, wait, Fumi combo. Or is it Riri combo? You're talking about trial deck, right? From a solo yeah. league? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Riri. Yeah, it's Riri combo. Excuse me? I don't know who those creatures are, man! I, I would think that Assault Lily and Riri would like quick things to your mind that Riri's the main character. Well, okay, okay, okay. She's the Ayumu of Assault Lily. They're both pink hair, fuck. <laughs> Got him, boys! <laughs> they. they uh, they act very differently though. Actually, do they? I got game buggers for a moment because Ayuma really likes you. Riri really likes you, you. Mm. <laughs> do we have? Do we got? Do we get him? Let me get back to you on that. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we'll we'll move on from here. But before we um before I do any like weird cross universe shenanigans. We have Setsing Ayuki, 0, 0, 1000, she's also a global 500, although when you use Accelerate, if you have 4 or more cards in your clock, you may pay 1 to heal that down, and when your character's trigger check reveals a climax, give one of your characters plus 1000 until end of turn. Oh man, when I, when I said look out for a global 5, I did not mean this card, this triad. Oh man, oh man. This is bad. This is bad. It forced me into a terrible archetype to heal it off. Right, uh, and like, it's not like... I mean, we will see a couple more Accelerate cards. We're not quite done with Accelerate, but... I know this girl is fire, but god damn! <laughs> <laughs> they have to translate, translate the fire to... Here's some Accelerate! Here's your fire, Matt! Accelerate! Well, I, so, I mean, I mean... You, you, you watch the anime. It's such an effectively kind of like... You know, got quite the number of figurative nicks and bruises with her passion. I mean, what, what, and, and what, Ayumu's what, trying to just slowly gain experience as a school idol with the help of you. I mean, where's this girl? Gas, 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 literally? Yes. Oh, and you can you literally like look at the lyrics to her songs, man? I have! The girl is fire, man! <laughs> Right. I mean, you also remember watching the Chase performance in the anime. Oh, of course. That's why. That, that's why I said her first appearance. Her first appearance was that song, and I was just like, "Yo, let's go, let's fire, let's go." Let's go. All right. I, I don't know. Maybe Andy has positive things to say about this uh, card here. Um, you know what? Like the the whole accelerate package is really um underwhelming with not a lot of payout. There's not a lot of incentive to like pain yourself. Um. I can definitely see this being a better, more viable option if you know there there are better like accelerate packages that come out in future sets. Right. But as of right now, yeah, this, um, yeah, it, it'd be pretty hard to like, justify this taking up slots and like in like in a deck. Right. I guess yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, and the nigga, mm, probably not. Oh, no. you, have, you, have, you have other global five hundred. If you really need them. Shit, I, I shit, I'll, I'll play the TD Ayuma, man. The uh, the... Well, well, uh, pos uh, if I really need it, will we swap OP? Yeah, will we swap OP, man. <laughs> it's better than this trash. Uh, what do I do about this card? Is it, is it trash? What, what, what is, what is the, what is... Um, 
What is the cure for such disorders? Beatings. Oh, I'm sorry, man, but I hate to do this to him, but you know what? No! Okay, you, you, all right, yeah, I, I gotta do this myself. They make a big TV. Why? So you can watch Chase in HD. And, and man, that song is fire, man. That song is fire. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? This does do... It does something, but not not worth putting in a deck. And like just the fact that like you would you wouldn't like run it in a deck. Yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get this like a, a oof. Uh, maybe maybe Cessna and Maybe 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 yeah. Maybe like that's kind of I don't know about you folks, but it feels like Cessna's carpool is trying to do two different things. You you right. have one of them. You have one carpool is like saying. Play standby. I'll I'll help you. Your part says, "In yourself, I'll try to help you." After that, let's just watch. Let's just watch Chase in HD, guys. Let's just watch Chase in HD. <laughs> hey, it sounds like there's a better game plan than this. <laughs> All right, we'll we'll move on. It's a leopard. Woo! I zero zero two five. Oh, 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 no. Climax combo with this card attacks. If you have Rainbow Red Eye and your Climax here, you have another music character. That's kind of hard, Bush. You may pay the cost of Ow. If you do, top check three, top check three, put X music characters in your grave and, and add them to your hand where X is the number of soul triggers amongst the card, amongst the cards milled this way. So, oh, this is the eye that I was alluding to earlier with the one zero eye. So knowing her would count. <laughs> but at the same time, well, again, this could be a literal plus two. Right. But at the same time, I could completely whiff. Right, you're, 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 you're kind of playing a gamble with this card. This reminds me of Elf Archer combo from Goblin Slayer, but... At least with that, the payoff is at... The payoff to playing all these damn triggers is there. With I, I'm not so sure about that one, Chief. Right, I can't, I can't get where you're coming from. Oh no, Andy, what about you? Yeah, um, I mean this. You know, it's 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 a completely dead card. Without the without the climax, and then most of the time, like you're you know your waiting room isn't set up at level zero. Mm -hmm. So you know, you like yeah. So this yeah, this is this is pretty bad. I mean, it, 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 you pop off, you, you do pop this off, it's pretty hilarious. Um, it's, it's stonks for days, man. Yeah, it's pretty stonks for days. Um, and hey, um, you could you could actually make an argument for this in limited because, you know, Quark wants to have like two extra cards. Yes, but how many triggers are you playing limited, sir? I mean, Let me see your deck. All, obviously, you're playing this, you're going to like do something crazy. What, like 30 plus soul triggers, FR man? <laughs> So just, 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 just for that reason, I'm actually forced to give this the meme. The fact that you can just like, Lamal, uh, put, I'm gonna hungry, gain yourself, uh, get, 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 get three cards back. Well, that means you have to stop, that means you can stop clocking for a few turns. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I don't know, man, I'm, I'm going with all the same people in Limited and finding homepage reveals. <laughs> True, though. Hey, home page review is a soul trigger. I'm. <laughs> oh yeah, true. It is a soul trigger. Um, but you know what? Niche this. Niche. All right. Fair enough. I yeah, want to maybe. Oh, sorry, Andy. Yeah, this is a niche. This is this is almost like just designed just for like a I waifu deck. For sure. For sure. Oh, like if you see this in high level comp, man, I'm smiling. <laughs> All right, we'll move on then. Let's put a black and let's put on black and white. Get to Yuki. Auto when this card is put on the stage from your hand, that this gets a one five until the end of turn, and auto accelerate. At the beginning of your climax phase, you may pay the cost. If you do, look at the top card of your deck. Reveal up to one music character from amongst them. Add it to your hand. Put the remaining cards in the waiting room, and this 
gets power uh, plus 2k until end of turn. Um, man. Tessina really likes to emphasize the black part, doesn't she? Paying life for card advantage? Uh, Anna? Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, if, if, if you whiff off of that, then that's just going to be like the worst feeling in the world. Even if you succeed, the card you get is random. Mm -hmm. Very random. <laughs> and your opponent's like, sure. Ow. Yeah. Oh, man. If you whiff on this... <laughs> uh, Gavin, just to clarify, you don't intend playing the bubble game at all, right? I do not. And, Angie, you been to this event in the game? No. Oh. Do you care about spoilers for this event story? Oh, no, no, I don't, know. Okay, so you, you see like this cursed pastry looking thing that Sessia's holding her hand? Yep. So... Ruby visits Nishikasaki on that day. For, you know, they're, doing a, they're basically doing like a... Kind of like a... Baking show off kind of deal. And, oh, no. and, and, and Ruby tries to say, like, and um... Oof. Yeah, I, I, I think, I think, I think Gavin could tell at like, this point that Sessinga cannot properly do things in the kitchen. Nope. I mean, uh, this card... Oh, bad. Yeah, I mean, I was gonna say, like, with, with the, with the other, uh, zero, zero Setsuna, where you get to scry, then yeah, then, you know, um... Right, you're, you're, you're supposed to, like, use this in conjunction with that or Creamy Berry yeah, on your move. Yeah. Yeah, you're like kind of forced to Oh, no, like no, no, no. sorry, not Ayumu. You gotta play a quiet match, so that doesn't work. But yeah, the uh, passion race that's, you know, yeah. But oh. yeah, outside of that, this is too much of like a, okay, let me ping one to grab a random card that might do, might be playable, might not be playable. And right. if you will, so you just ping myself for one and trigger a climax, which is gonna be horrible. Right. Uh, 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 oh, man. It... Oh, actually, you see a climax, you must play it to the weight room because it, it forces a mill if you if you whiff. That just makes it even worse. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm just honestly not too fond of this card in constructed or limited. Oh, man. I, I, forget about limited, men. Forget about it. In this case, hell no. All right, go, all right. Finding an appropriate quote for this one. How to find an appropriate one? This is all your baking skills have to offer. You know what? I'll 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 give her. I'll I'll be really really nice and give her a ninja, only because if you do set it up, you you know it it, it might be worth it. But other than that, yeah. If only Gavin like it, memorize more memory key we quote some from memory. <laughs> oh if, if you don't call if you don't call if you don't call a horrible cook a horrible cook, you're a horrible elf. <laughs> and man, I had to make I, I had to make I had to make fun of her baking skills on that one, man. Fair, fair also, well. what is with that cursed pastry, man? You don't want to know. Oh, okay. Apparently I don't want to know. Alrighty. Tr 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 trust me on that one. Oh, oh boy. You did get to the episode where they like. Wait, are you. Where, which episode are you going up to in the anime? Or did you finish already? I, I think I. Yeah, I finished it. I finished it. I remember, so you remember the episode where like Sasuna like makes some kind of like weird looking stew? Oh yeah! It was in episode 10! <laughs> oh god! I think it gave like everybody food poisoning of it exactly! Oh no. You, you somehow had it and was fine. Oh, R ring again, uh, way at all, because it, it looked very sus. Wait a minute, did they? Oh no, no, no for Marco, they fixed the stew. They fixed it. They fixed. They fixed it. Uh, I think it was you who put in like some sort of seasoning to make it tolerable. I think it was you. Or was it I? Okay, I don't. I don't think it was ever fixed. I think. I think only you tried it. I think only you tried it. Oh, okay. And you were somehow you were somehow survived, so I I I believe that you have some kind of like stomach made out of iron. <laughs> what well, to say, man? Holy shit! Oh, because right. as, as I said, Ruby really collapsed from eating that. 
Oh man. Anyway, I'm me, Yashika, 114500. If you ever go to Mr. Character, Bushi, no, that's too difficult. This card gets 1500 power and the following two abilities. She gets Twin Drive and Character Handgun Core. And when her trigger check reveals a card with a Soul Trigger icon, she gets 1000 power until you end your opponent's next turn. Why does this sound better than Ayumu? The Ayumu 1 0 combo? Uh, this, this could probably like. Well, this is, this is a base 6k. If you twin drive two triggers using 8k. Okay, no, this, this, is, uh, this is much smaller than your typical 1175 with head on. This really is. You, uh, again, this is back to try to profit off of the fact that you're attempting to twin drive for triggers, right? Uh, fair enough. So and, I, 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 I could, you could make the argument that they made a little too fair. Like, I, I think like just simply saying plus 2k and the following two abilities might have been okay. I, I feel she took a bit too much of a penalty here. Isn't Twin Drive typically only a 500 penalty? Based on the I love you, I... Yes. So... Why did this take take a massive dumping? Right, because this would normally be like a 1150-500 that gets like... something. Yeah, that's, 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 that's why I kind of feel like... Like, did the second sentence matter that much? That's what I'm starting to wonder here. Okay, the train drive, that's minus 500, so we got a 5k. And the second, the last sentence there is another minus 500, I guess? That's how you justify it? Man, I wish they just ditched the last sentence all together. Um, Give me the extra 500. I'm standby, I care about my board. Right. But, you know, again, you could twin drive a gorillion times and you, like, trick, you know, you know saying your board up to have, like, one or two, I love you, I be Yashika, at level one. There you go, right? Or imagine, or imagine three of them on the board. Right, and you play over one of these, but, uh, <laughs> that could also happen. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, it, it is. It is maybe an undersided one one, but I think like twin drives are usually like thirty five hundred, right? Like, if it's a one zero with twin drive, it's gonna be per it's gonna be even more understated. Oh. Um, the fact that this is somewhere in the middle is is makes it playable. Uh, Ga and, um, Gavin, really quick, you used to play you used to play um Hingology. the lion that had twin drive. She's a six five on your turn, right? Yep, six five on my turn, three five. Three five, three five on the opponent's turn. She's fucking lunch me, man. Right, but she still swung for a pretty good amount on your turn. Yeah, she's sixty five power, thirty five hundred toughness, but you don't care about the thirty five hundred. Right, and that's also a double rare, if I'm not mistaken. That is a double rare, yes. She's one of the best cards in Hina Logic. Yeah, I could see that. Um, that, I, I was just asking because that's the first card that came into my mind for a one zero twin driver. Like, unironically. Unironically, typically a um, a twin drive is a one zero five one, so it's only a five hundred power power um, deficit. Mm. Honestly speaking, though, you know what this is better than I am. I'll give it. I'll give her that much. Yeah, I, I could agree on that front. If I were playing eight standby, I don't have much of much of the choice but to run this. Right, because you want to get you want to just trigger as many times as possible in that deck, right? Right, my level one liner would mostly be four homepage, two or three of these, and counters. Fair enough. And my only really viable attackers are eyes. That's it. Yeah. Oh, and most of the time, yeah, most of the time, we, you know, you're gonna hit at least one soul trigger. Um, if you if you if you hit one, you know, this kind of does get value. Like, let alone if you hit two triggers. Um, what, what, what is what this is gonna say? That? It's gonna sit at eight by itself, and then maybe eight five with with uh, with with a cutting level assist. And then if you have a counter, like, yeah, nothing's gonna run over this. If like you really, really, really value this, um, right? But, but, I, but you know, eventually, you're playing a standby, you want most of your front line to be like, I love you, I, and if you're playing her, you know, once you get to level two, 
you want one of them. I wish one of them could be the um, you know, uh, it's a it's a, a lot of fun for a lot of sounds. Ayumu. Or even emotional power sets now. Right, you want to you want to do that now? You play. Oh yeah, so I yeah, th this card is de definitely not to be treated as like oh this is part of like your like your standby wall. This is more of like a platform to kind of just like accelerate bounce, like bounce, your, bounce off of like he's kind of like your starter if anything. Yeah. Um. So yeah, th this is this is fine. It, it's like it's like a um. You know, if you if if you're playing a bunch of soul triggers, like this is not that much of a concern if it's any power or not. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, just the fact that like the downside of this is like, you know, like oh, like you you, you stand by this out. Um, this it's not that bad if you have to stand by this out at at, at at level one. Um, being able to stand by this out at, at level zero is pretty bonkers. You know, you you having access to twin drive on a really big body at level zero is pretty uh pretty like annoying to sit across for sure and of course even if they climb over it pitch the card right and then attempt to swing grab again if you you know don't have enough uh board presence yeah fair enough uh limited hey actually why not you could actually unironically do a standby and limited and this is an uncommon too so this is easy to find right like in general the eight standby deck you could like you go make a double arts for that to make it successful. Like no, you, you, only, you only really need like the I love you I. And maybe Cessna, if you want to finish her. If you're able to find it, go go you know be my guest. But go luck if you, uh, you actually assemble both that and the climax. Hey man, it could but happen. Gotta... It could happen, but you have enough tempo just from just from this alone. Right. So yeah, you know what. I think I actually do give it to playable just because of that swing drive. And being possibly a little bulkier if both of them are soul trigger icons. Yeah, give this, yeah, give this the playable on a play. Yeah, this is definitely a playable. Just just like the potential of being able to bring this out at level two is pretty absurd. Um, it can definitely feel like really like oppressive to like uh, sit across from and like just give you like a ton of like advantage at, at level zero. So it's, oh, it, it can get pretty nutty. Oh yeah, definitely. All right, we'll move on then. Hopping Heart, Ayumu, three, two, eight, five. When this card attacks, perform one of the following actions twice. I choose one of you guys, get them plus one soul, or when this card becomes, this card becomes reversed if you have two or more other guys, and and if you're about, if this card's battle opponent is level three or lower, bomb it. What makes me a little sad is that an Aya from Bang Dream was attached to this cause and she was at least a rare, if not a double rare. Holy. At, at least the uh, bombing a level 3 part. Right. Yeah, this is actually not that bad for just for being like what it is. Right, like she, 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 she is, she could give, she could give extra soul to, either you want to, you could stack out the same thing twice for a side for lethal possibility, or split up to try to get more damage on the board. And yeah, she's, like, and, and, hey, it's, cause it's unlikely one of your ways to deal with that thing called Reinhardt. True. Yeah, like, what? Worst case scenario, this is like a this is like a level three bomb, which is, you know, like that's almost like unheard of. Like like in like you know twenty twenty one, like who's running around being afraid of like, of like level three bombs? So like this right, is right. Nobody this, nobody this, fears Aya because right. nobody's gonna play Aya. <laughs> yeah, it, so this could see some sort of play like in an eight standby deck. They could fear Kuro from um, Ilya. True. There is Kuro. There. Well, I wish Kuro. Give us like a sanctuary player because of a restanding or pseudo restand combo with that card. True, true. But, but at the same time, uh, Kuro. I don't know. Not in this day and age, probably. Not in this day and age. I probably wouldn't play her. But yeah, uh, are, are you both here? Like, I, I overall, I overall like this design. 
She isn't terrible. She's a decent standby target. Right. She, kind of, kind of she's, small. She's something. She's something. Like that. That that, that soul pump. Could it it it, it? it could it could do things. That's for sure. And limited. What's an uncommon? If you want to push more damage, it's this is a card. And this is probably one of the cards that you want to grab in standby, and it's easy to find. Uncommon. Right, uncommon, pretty easy. So I think, uh, like, uh, anyone, 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 anyone else have anything else you want to say before we go to the verdicts? No. Thank you. No, there's not too much to say other than, like, this is, like, a decent tech if you want to run it, like, as a one of. Okay. So I think, um, overall, I'll give this a playable minus. Like, it's worth considering, if anything. I was originally going to niche this playable minus. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm just gonna like just just roll with it and give it a playable minus as well. Um, there's there's not too many downsides to like choosing this. Like, if you choose to run it in your deck, I can't really knock you for it. It's like a decent choice. For sure, for sure. Alrighty, we'll move on. All right, let's have Tendon Karage. Uh, I, Auto. When this card is put to the stage from your hand, reveal the top card of your deck, and all of your opponent's characters get power minus 1k for each soul trigger icon on that card until the end of turn and auto when this becomes a, when this card becomes reverse if you if the card's battle pawn is level zero lower you may reverse that character so it's a level zero pawn so oh, about exterminating the rest of that psychongo population yeah that's that's exactly that's exactly what i want to do nowadays uh <laughs> fucking psychono uh still hate that deck even after the ban. Oh, of course. But other than that, what else does it do? Yeah, she's very, very understanding overall. And a reg bomb in 2021. Ugh. Oh, man. So many things are yeah. just like, I don't care. Yeah, red bombs have definitely like lost their, like, their their value while like bottom deck bombs or and stock stock bombs and clock shoots had definitely like been more favorable with the fact that because they could remove cards this doesn't really remove cards other than maybe if you get like the minus 1k right and that's like and that's like hopefully like the card sitting across this is 1k or lower because other than that like yeah this is pretty it's pretty hard to like utilize yeah, like there's no guarantee that you'll even pop off that minus 1k nuke. I mean, an I waifu, maybe? I mean, but you have it. a higher chance, but still, uh... I'm gonna have to niche this, I'm sorry. Yeah, like, I, I, I can't call this card complete garbage. Like, there is a use for it, but yeah, I think outside of I Waifu or, high, or just high soul trigger count decks, uh, you pretty much don't really go for this. Can this even slaughter Creamy Berry? Uh, you, no, because Creamy Berry's gonna be in the back row. Or, uh, yeah, it should be all your opponents' characters in the front row, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I know, I think Creamy Berry was, was 1500. Oh, pfft. that's. This card can't even slaughter the back row. Excuse me, I didn't. I, I, I didn't even read the card. I was just like, "Oh shit, it is front row only." Well, yeah, this card makes I, it even I, worse. I, I just realized that. <laughs> yeah, this this is pretty niche. It it, it it definitely would have had potential if it was maybe um you know mill like mill two cards in it. There's a soul trigger, then you get a pocket. But the fact that you can only top check uh, for one card is pretty like lack lackluster. Would have been nice, but alas. All right, we'll move on. All right, we now have. I want you to check Ayumu Uehara zero zero one k. Uh, act experience. Uh, pay one rest this card. If the sum of lowest cards in your level area is five or higher, uh, you perform one of the following two actions. And if you're not experienced five or higher, your opponent chooses one of these two actions, and you perform that. So, uh, one of the actions could be. Choose up to kill your music characters and gain a soul plus one until end of turn, or reveal the top card of your deck if it's a music character or event. Act that card to your hand, otherwise leave it there. 
Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I guess like it's better card advantage than the up uh, than the uh, the IU combo itself. If you are going for card advantage, I guess. <laughs> of course, you could also choose to go go on the offensive with this card. Right. Like you know, I have to remember that like, before you hit level two, your opponent dictates what happens. <laughs> which is uh, which is god awful. I could say, like, like, most of your time, like, unless your opponent's confident they'll cancel, they're like, gonna... you're probably going to force you to attempt to, uh, you know, get something off the top of your deck and hope you whiff. I, you know, I thought, I thought most players would just be like, sure, go ahead and try and hit, go ahead and try and hit me. I don't want, I don't want you gaining cards. Or, like, it, it, it does depend, I would, I would argue, like, especially in first deck, it could be a little dangerous to say that mode, right? Right, but at the same time, you're probably think, getting no advantage off of it. That's also true. I, I think most players are so greedy that they'll that they'll often choose mode one. Hmm. I don't know about you, man, but uh, it just depends like, like what I value. <laughs> like in most in most cases, what would you pick? If I'm confident, uh, if I'm if I'm okay with taking a little more damage. Or if I'm confident I'll cancel, I'll choose mode one. But if I'm not, I'll just attempt to force them to whiff. Instead, you gave them a card for free. Which I'm like, okay, better that than me taking additional two damage or something, right? True, true. true. Like, if I say one damage could be the borderline between life and death, definitely two damages. This game is, this game is extremely aggressive now. Right. Yeah, I mean, like, just the fact that your your opponent is always gonna choose like the worst choice for you, or just choose like whatever may even give them advantage, um, into level two is pretty bad. Um, so like that means that this is almost a dead card into level two. So like you'd have to be babysitting it, and like until you get until like you could actually proc both uh, both uh, abilities at one time. Like Andy, what would you pick most of the time if you were the you know what? Um, it kind of, it kind of just like depends um, on like the game state. But at, at the same time, too, yeah, I'm just gonna be like, yeah, you just grab a random card because it might not even help you. It might not even help you. Hmm, I guess I must be the odd one out here. I'm like, um, do I want to risk giving them card advantage, or do I want to leverage my own life against it? Um, uh, most of the time, I'm gonna have to say, you know what? Go Go ahead, hit me. Hmm. Go ahead and try and hit me. Because, honestly speaking, that card could change the game right then and there. Giving them that card. Now, of course, Weiss, you know, Weiss has a lot less, you know, game-changing cards than other card games. You know, in basically every other card game, you almost would never give them the card. Because card advantage is that valuable, right? And so when they're using this before level two, they're probably having they probably haven't estimated their first deck yet. Right, 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 right. So there's your chance that a bunch of junk could still be floating around. Yeah, this yeah. definitely feels like that, like 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 the like the Ayumu standby combo, where it's just like, yeah, you're gonna give them a card, but then you know what I mean, like. You're not that concerned about it. Um, yeah, this this definitely feels like uh, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth babysitting into level two. You're babysitting level zero all the way to level two just so you can throw it in the back and like proc a couple effects. So it doesn't seem like worthwhile. Just give me homepage reveal. Pretty much. Um, can I call this card complete? And, and, and oh, and and, and, and limited. Um. Overall, you, always, you, like, you never want to give them the card, man. Not unlimited. Not unlimited. Most people definitely choose the damage unlimited. Which will actually not be too bad. I think overall, I will just, I'm forced to just give this thing this. Um, like, it's not a terrible card. Ayumu belongs in a garbage can, man. Ayum, Ayumu is a piece of scum. 
Oh, I'm sorry, but hell no. Abilities where my opponent gets to choose? No. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and give this a oof as well, only because not only are they gonna give you the 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 choice that's worse for you, but they might even just you know whatever they choose might give them advantage, like on, on like the flip side. So that I don't like. Like they might even want to say, "Come on, hit me." I'll take the two extra damage. I need to take two extra damage here. Like, it, it might even be bait, you know, for the, for them to be like, yo, dog, hit me. Go ahead. Oh, you plus a card to hand? That's information. Now I know you have it. You know, it makes it, makes it so much easier for them to plan. But anyways, next. You only plan for so much in White Sports, though, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Right. Balance, that's enough. Zero zero fifteen hundred. What does that just battle for you? Know the top two cards among know the top two cards, there's a climax among those two. Choose one of you guys, get them fifteen hundred. And once you're just battlefield, choose one of you guys, get them fifteen hundred. So uh, what's up dog, we heard you like power boost. So I put power boost on your power boost so you can pump while you pump. Man. Sensor would make a great support. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is Definitely like a, a, a serviceable profile, like um, especially for it being a common. Um, yeah, this is definitely like not not the worst thing. Like, um, you know, because you you do need to mill your deck, you do need to go through your deck, and the fact that this is on play pump fifteen hundred, um, it's definitely worth considering. Right. I mean, it's it's free milling up to two pumps. It's what's pretty bonkers for a common. <laughs> Like, wait, what? It's two cups for a common? Let's fucking go, boys. Like, you know, F FR, no, no two, and up to two pumps. What's <laughs> you? Being and able to give two guys 1500 sounds pretty good to me. Or you really have to, plus 15 times two to the same ling. Holy, whatever's in front of that thing is probably not living. And in limited, yes, you want yeah. to play this because it's free mill and power and toughness definitely matters in limited. Shit. Like, like if anything, this is one of the better red splashes for sure. So, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm actually good to playable. Playable minus. Thanks, limited. <laughs> Thanks, limited. Yeah, this is definitely like a playable for me because like you don't have a lot of access to like power pumps in this set, which is like something you really need. Why is um, everything so tiny? <laughs> yeah, a lot of things are pretty tiny. Alright, we'll move on then. Love, love, beam. I, and she is a, uh, just a 4k beater where you can't play events or backups from your hand. No responses? Ew! Ew! Oh. This is, this, is, this is my only comment. This bad pun that I will not actually say is my only comment. This is not a whorehouse. I, I, I'm sorry, but... Okay. This this set has good, event, good events and counters. Mm -hmm. And why would I want to turn those off? Right. For a, for a 4K FR man? I'd rather play Setsna! Sure, Setsna dies in response, but hey, she did something more than I did! Bro. Shit. Fuck out of here! <laughs> oh, wait, wait, let's see if Angie saves this card. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna be really nice to this card. Only because playing the game that I played um, this past week, I could have definitely used like a, a, a 4k body. Um, I think people underestimate just like, okay, here's a vanilla beater. Yeah, it turns off backups, but it's kind of irrelevant at level zero. And it's one of like the it's one of like the few beaters that this set has, because this set doesn't have any beaters at all. Um it doesn't have it has a really, really, really fringy level zero game, I wanna say. I'd and say it's better than I'll say I'll say this. It's definitely better than what our sensation has. Or, oh, man. or even what Charlotte has. Um, Owl Sensations level zero game is complete trash, man. <laughs> <laughs> and and yeah. Charlotte Char actually has a decent level zero game, man. Uh, like, decent. It's alright, but you're not expecting Charlotte to like, kill things. 
No. They're, they're not, told they're, you they're, that. They're, they're, not, they're not playing for Boyan over zero. And it was weird yeah. to for Andy. Yeah, I think like four four K is definitely not something to just like scoff at. You do have to like do something to run over it. Um, I'm gonna be really nice. I'm gonna give it the playable minus. Like the biggest reason why I really like, especially in Nishi Saki in particular, you you have several options for four Ks. Uh, most of those are in blue. More on that because you're blue, right? I would say a certain sleeping creature. <laughs> All right. All right, next. We'll move on. Uh, together with you, Ayumu Uehara, 104,000. Continuous experience. Store your target because some of the levels of cards in your level area is one or higher. She gets 2,500 power and the following ability. When she attacks, if the character from her is level 2, she gets 6,000 power until end of turn. Okay, the proper return of actual level 2 killers that actually destroy level 2s. At 12.5, that will do it. And EXP1 FR Bushy? That's so easy. <laughs> Are you playing the game? Yes? Like, what? This is so easy. <laughs> or hell, yeah. if. Oh. Go ahead. Yeah, I would say, like, yeah, this is definitely, like, a playable um, tech. Like, you, you, you could even, like, Ricky into it. There's, like, something that's very annoying in front of you. Um, you know, this can come in clutch. Yeah. Like, like this murders most two 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 standby targets. They're shot out nowadays. Yeah, like ten five. Like, oh, even with the counter, you're still going down. And most players are gonna be like, I have uh, a power toughness twelve thousand five hundred. Even with the counter, I I only double knock, and I, I still I, have to. I, I think still have to, I'll kill over temporarily. <laughs> Uh, I, I have to pay recursion cost too? Hell no! Or if I don't have recursion, oh shit, I'm going down. Like, oh man. That's, 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 like, that's pretty nice. Like, previously, oh, and how big was the one in Sus Colors, man? Do you remember? Uh, no. It, 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 wasn't it only like 11k at best or something? Ew, that's so tiny! Like, like, it, it, it was definitely not 12k, right? No, definitely not. Not even close. <laughs> like, like it was like eleven k, eleven five at best, if I remember correctly. This uh, Ayumu is twelve five. Yeah, I, Ayumu says F out of here, people. Like, and, and the funny thing is, is that standby is starting to make a return. Like standby is starting to become more and more prominent now as people are starting to play for board size again. Like I, I remember there was a brief period in like twenty twenty where people didn't really play for board size all that much. Uh, so and then, level one combos were getting better and better? And then, oh, thanks, Innocence of Twilight. Jesus. Now everybody plays, you know, com you know, com level one combos that are like 6k toughness. I'm like, Jesus. So defendable now. And like, how do we counter that with standby? Well, Ayuma just says, no, standby doesn't kill it. Doesn't counter us completely. Like, this is amazing as a level 2 killer. And behind a homepage at a climax, 14,000? What? Now, Ayumu gets destroyed in response, but did we care? No. Now, of course, it's very it, rest in... Well, actually, in limited. Not everyone's going to be going for the level 2 strategy whatsoever. Depends on your pot, honestly. Right, but even then, there's only, there's only so many eyes to go around. Right. So chances are only one or two people will have them. If so, I, Ayuma loses a lot more of her effectiveness. Like, of course, this is a very meta-dependent card. Oh, definitely. Like, if you if like, let's say you're playing in Arizona, <laughs> Ayuma's useless. There's no standby there. But if you're playing, uh, oh, Andy, how much do you how much do you encounter in SoCal? Uh, yeah, there's there's definitely like a lot of the players that do favor um supply around here. Like, oh, okay, like, so... you, you, you have to like, give like a percentage, you have to give like a percentage or something. If I had to give like a percentage, um, yeah, it's kind of hard to tell because of like COVID and stuff. I haven't really like, we, we haven't even gone like the locals, but oh, okay. I would, yeah, maybe, um, yeah, I would say maybe about, uh, like, like 69%. How much, did, how much was it? Did you say 69%? 
For the memes. Oh, oh for the memes. Oh, okay. So about seven out of ten players would would play standby on a given week. I would say about half. Oh half. About okay. half. So, With half the field. Jesus. That's that's pretty are you, long. Are you will be amazing. Yeah. She clears so many boards. Like wow. Or for doing for, for paying practically nothing. And we're talking SoCal shops like HSI, right? Yeah, I mean, I, we we haven't had a, a local there in about over a year, um, but right. just, the lo- just the locals that I've been to, um, yeah, people just really enjoy playing standby just because, like, you know, I guess like it just it just feels good. I don't know, it just gives like a lot of value, mm-hmm. and also like the you know, um, um, being able to like toolbox, um, you you can even toolbox into this card, like from a. Uh, uh, from like a Ricky or even from your uh um from like a salvage brainstorm. Oh yeah, and, and of course this card literally costs you nothing. That's pretty yeah, good. I feel like even if it was a one one, you can still even make the argument for this card, but the fact that it's a free costed one zero kind of just like makes it that much better. And like, I, 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 I think Gavin very game we could agree that in general, like across the board, standby is seeing a recurrence, right? Oh yeah, stand like if you look, like if like if you look at the Japanese graphs that Kilua post, shit, it's standby literally everywhere. No, standby literally everywhere. Like, like normally we would give these cards like a niche or something, but oh hell no, give this girl a playable man, shit. It, it... Oh playable, girl... I'll, I'll be I'll, I'll, I'll be a little less uh, nice because it's it's still somewhat dependent, but if you if you do notice it, definitely go for it. I mean, look at Andy's local gym. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Half, like, okay, yeah, for sure. But at the same time, you know, I still say, like, this is very much a your mileage may vary card. Well, uh, like, I'd, we'd have to ask Audrey, but damn, dude, we'd have to ask her, what is Ileana? How is Ileana stance on standby? Yeah, this is definitely a playable, like, just the fact that it's free and it's like, so easy to, like, like, access, like, oh, cool, like, your opponent try to be big brain or they maybe they sacked into like something that's like annoying cool let me just ricky into this and it's a free costed you know level two killer that can just be like gargantuan as just like just be a problem andy if this was costed and, and had recursion would you still play this oh yeah but, yeah like even if it was a one one it there's still there, there would still be like an argument for it but the fact that it's like a you know you can't even just draw into it like you know what i mean like yeah it, you can access it from your deck or from waiting room but the just just the fact that it doesn't cost anything just gives you like a lot of value. Oh, oh um, yeah. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I mean like you know what? Like I still wouldn't put this over the one one Chizuku, but the fact that this is free is makes it like a viable option. And Chizuku is stock positive. That's pretty yeah, good. yeah. So yeah, there's an argument for that one, but at the same time, this is not a one one. This is a it's it's free. This you is literally free. free. Right. Yeah, you, you you pop it on the board and you, you have an answer to to your opponent. Mm-hmm. And unlike and unlike Shizuku, uh, this this will not disappear after you do the game. Nope, she'll stay around, but she's dead. She's dead in response, man. Right, but at least you're not opening up the lane. <laughs> true, 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 true. They actually have to kill her. All right, we'll move on. Next. Now you too, Setsna one one five five. Am I reading all the Setsna cards? Fr. I read some. Okay, when when your other music attacks, this card gains fifteen hundred till end of turn, and she has she regenerates. I sound it better than this card getting it. Yeah, give me I every time. <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, I love I love Cessna too. But at the same time, you know, I'll take a pun master over set over Cessna here. And that's even with the character bias too. I try not to like, character bias come come in the way of these reviews, though my my co-host here can be like, F R, that's not that's bullshit, man. Yeah, I guess this this guy's definitely made some questionable statements as a result of character bias. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be like, uh, I hate this I hate this creature, man. I'm gonna give I'm gonna rate it harsher because of that. Oh no, I love this creature. I, I, I should be harsher, but I can't. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but but, but Sesna here? Oh, oh no. You know what? I love Sesna and all, but sorry, I, I can't be nice to this card. I really can't. 
Hey, uh, unlike I, though, it's easier to find a limit, but that's that's all she has over I. By I behave yourself, I'll give you a case of my pun. I mean, yeah, it's it's playable if you want another one one. It it can it, it can it can get pretty tall, you know. It can get up to like you know like eight five. Um, I think the problem with this profile with the with like this one one is just like it just gets overshadowed by by I. Yep, definitely. Um, but this is not this is not horrible. This is not horrible. It just gets overshadowed like within the set. Oh, okay, you faring off. So, we grew you know, up. We grew up on watching Chase and believed in sets now. Yeah, like I, I, I really want to be like nice uh, to these cards because it's not horrible. <sighs> give me a, give me, give me a niche. Okay, fair, fair enough. Uh, Andy, being, be, being, being the hero that, that, that we deserve but we'll never get. Yeah, I mean, this, this uh, is not what, a lot. What a correct term, Gavin. Yeah, what a correct quote be more of? Andy's the hero we need but don't deserve. Yeah, that's yeah, that's 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 what I meant to say. <laughs> anyway, sorry for interrupting you, Andy. <laughs> oh no, I was just gonna say like yeah, there's just like because there's only one set out, there's just not a lot to choose from. So, I mean, this is it, it's fine. Like it's I, fine. I'll definitely it's say this: the, the set introduces some nice concepts, but kinda didn't finish a good amount of them. Well, uh, anime set one, boys. Anime set one. Oh, I'm, oh, saying, no, I'm, saying, I'm, I'm saying I combine our mobile, like our gorgeous mobile game art with our crappy sunrise art. Hey, hey man, hey, hey, man, if it means playing better cards, fuck it. All right, we'll move on. My words, my feelings. I Miyashita. Um, she's a uh, three-five backup. Did we really need this? Overall, not really, right? I mean, if any game we would play because, oh, Soul Trigger, Counter, at level 2. Make our, case really, extra, make our experience extra defendable. I, I'd rather play Shio Rico at that point, man. That far, get Shio Rico stack counter? Yeah, at least that does something other than, uh, hi, I'm a thousand bigger. You're playing standby, bulk, Maris Morgan, and key change. Okay, wait, we already, I mean, you really want to actually change you? We we have something in blue, right? Yeah, that's true. That sleeping creature, man. Why? Oh no, 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 no! I will save my ammunition for next week. I will save. Like my like normally, this would not this would be like whatever. Like the reason why the reason why this is whatever. Like in our sensation was because what was really defendable in our sensation. But Two at least, one Kirito combo. Like that be about it. But here, at least we actually have quite a number of things that we would defend unironically. Uh, you want to defend? You want to defend Cessna? Cessna level three. If she's in a front row for some reason, then yeah. Aqua? Question mark. No, but I love you. I will be a good choice. Yeah, actually, yeah, she has more toughness than Aqua. <laughs> yeah. Ironically, this this helps compensate for like a lot of like the understated um cards, like your uh, two twos and your three twos. Um, this is fine. It's it's just nice that like we have access to something that's like a three five. Right. To make, you know, you, you know what I mean? It's yeah. It's I, okay. I, I, I think the soul trigger helps for like you know, uh, uh the, the increased damage output that Andy alluded to with the I love you I. You know what? You know what? Okay, you guys have convinced me not to put this in the garbage can. <laughs> okay. Fine, I have to get this the playable minus, ironically. Yeah, like, I, I wouldn't like, call it like, straight up playable, it just depends on, like, you know, it's obviously, you know, you're going in more towards standby, obviously. So I would also give it a playable minus. Oh, it's, also it's, it's, it's worth It's worth the space, and definitely worth it and limiting, yes. Oh, 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 yeah, it limited? Hell yeah! A power toughness matters! Right, uh, right. Well, let's just hear right Yeah, now. yeah. Um, I'll go ahead and give this a playable minus, just because, like, um... I think your opponent might like account for like a, a backup that tall that's going to be in your hand mm -hmm. so like th this can definitely come in like um like clutch and like take your opponent off guard for sure for sure Ready? 
We'll move on from there. We now have Let's Start Again, Sensing a Yuki. Level 2, 1 cost, 7,000 power. During your turn, she gets 1,000 for each of your other music characters. And auto accelerate. At the beginning of your climax phase, you may pay a cost of getting yourself. If you do, she gets two, uh, 1,000 power and on reverse search 1 until end of turn. A little too late there, Bushy. Wait, unless you stood by into this at 1, but even then, it's a little late. Man. Like... I don't know. Well, sure, uh, this, 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 this could kill early plays, but... Cool, was it worth the 1 damage? To kill an early play and get a card at level 2? Probably not. Um, I mean, I mean... Oof. What's, what's really bad about this is the beginning of climax phase. It's not even after you reverse something. Like yeah, yeah, you actually decide right there and there. <laughs> like if you if you could decide at the time you got the kill, all right, let's go. Mm -hmm. But you you telegraph it to your opponent. Have that counter ready. Um, I, I, Andy, can you save this one, man? No, no, dude. I mean, just like. If you're running like some sort of setting up package, you're just you're 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 just killing yourself faster than your opponent can kill you. Yeah, that's why. Like, like again, the accelerate. We've seen accelerate have potential in previous uh, titles. Like, you know, like BB wasn't that terrible with the accelerate package. Uh, BB also had Nico that healed you. Right. Uh, Race of Swaywing was not that terrible with the accelerate package, but why was it like so half assed here? Like, does the series just feel that way? Like, they, 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 it looks like it, it's, it feels like they had an idea but forgot to actually finish it. Why do you think I always dread doing red? <laughs> like, like, oh. like, like, red especially shows this problem of here's an idea, we just forgot to actually like finish everything. Like, it's either boring profiles or incomplete trash. Like, experience, like, at least, at least experience felt a little more complete than Accelerate, but that's not saying a lot. Man. Uh, oh, yeah. and, and, and then Nigga's FR. I just don't see you getting value off of this card, like, at all. Like, um, yeah, yeah, this is definitely, like, one of those sets that, like, I mean, this is definitely one of those cards that, um, you just wouldn't even consider. This is just, yeah, this is just pretty, like, lackluster. Time me to a microphone and fire it at Nichikasaki. Ready. <laughs> what? Of all the quotes, man. All right. Uh... Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> it's better than Please? reading the actual quote. Fair, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> These words can only be made by a student council president of Nishikasaki High School. Do you understand me? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm trying really hard to be nice to these Setsuna cards because she is like, um, you know, she's she is top tier. She's she's pretty meta as far as like in the fandom. But yeah, I'm gonna have to be like truthful. Yeah, this is gonna be a oof for me. Oh man, Audrey's gonna kill all three of us. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying not to like let in like my biased feelings. I, I, like, I, I, yeah, I get it. Like, like, yeah, that's 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 thing that's up there for me as well. But uh, uh, at least the banking, I at least they actually used the scene where she, she's like telling the player character in a mobile game, like, you know what, you persuade me to finally uh, avoid abolishing the school idol club. <laughs> I'll, I'll join yeah, you. I, I could have sworn. I could have sworn I've seen this sh the scene in the animo. Kinda. The anime, like, did it differently. The mobile game is more of a, um... You're going around to, like, different students to, like, try to start up a club again after it was already, like, abolished or something. But instead, that meme tries to start it. Right, right. Well, technically speaking, what's funny is that in the mobile game, the first character you recruit after Ayumu is Kasumi. Wow. So, so well, they, they, they kind of did that part right, or they at least like paralleled that, but the rest of it, <laughs> no. no. Yeah, because Sessinga joins in the middle, whereas 
Do you want? Do you want? Do you, oh yeah. Do you want to guess when Sessinga joins as what number in a mobile game? Three? No. Oh, let me guess. She's fucking number nine. She's number nine. Holy. So she she told the player character, if you could get ten members for your club, I I will approve of it. Well, she is the student council president. So what happened is after the player character got the other eight. She comes in, takes off her glasses, and goes, Okay, I approve your club now. Wait, what do you mean? You have 10 members now. What do you mean? You're also a member, right? Oh. Oh, LaMau? <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and she has the power to approve that shit. She's student council president. <laughs> right. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll move on. Uh, after that little tip of lore. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, actually, is it my turn? Yes. Okay, good luck shop Shioriko Mifune. Zero zero five. Uh pitch a card when when your other step when your steps take other steps taken Ayumu attacks. This in your front row, you may pay the cost. If you do, salvage a standby. No. You shuffle it back. Oh, you shuffle it back, excuse me. Oh. Hey. What? So by playing this two to vanilla and then attack with her, and this is in your front row. For, it is in your front row for some weird reason. Um, you 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 get you get to do the weird thing that like Kamome did in uh, Summer Pockets. Why does I mean if you have a pair of these, this is basically clown glasses all over again. Is this this one again? Clown glasses. Oh well, no. <laughs> and man, it proves I'm from that era. Okay. That shit fucking trolled. That that shit fucking trolled me when I was powerless. Okay. I I don't I don't blame you. The good car's annoying. <laughs> and I was like, what? F four? You have all that much stuff after putting snail? Yeah. The shovels in two climaxes. Double can double cancels. <laughs> sad 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 gap. <laughs> sad. <gap. laughs> oh. Uh, uh, uh. But at the same time, I'm going. Yo, know, is it worth putting this shitter and a little vanilla? I don't know, man. Like, at least Komome, the pay to anyway, was like, not too shabby, because at least she was a little assist. Right, versus... Um, Shiariko dies upon doing this. <laughs> and, and you're praying that, uh... You're praying that you trick her... I, I don't know the logic. I don't know, Angie. What, what, what say you? You're, you're kind of like a standby expert here. Uh, yeah, I mean, both cards are kind of just dead on their own. Like, you would need both of them at the same time for you to get, like, any sort of, like, play or combo off of this. Mm -hmm. Um, but the payoff isn't worth it because you're just, you're, like, you're basically, like, sur surrendering a lane just to, like, shuffle one in. And if you're going to do it twice, right. you're, you it's know really what I mean? Two you're, lanes. You're, That's pretty Yeah, nice. yeah. You, you, you have way too much. Um, yeah, like, I, I wish, I like, if this was, like, a back row, I could have justified it a little bit, but, oh, I really can't. Yeah, it, like, cause, like, let's say, like, if you do trigger a climax, you can't even, like, stand by over, like, um, the, the Shiroku that just got reversed. You know what I mean? Or, like, or else, like, this kind of whole thing is, like, kind of, like, for nothing. Well, technically, when you attack, that's before trigger step. So, you go to see your trigger before you even decide to do it. So you will technically do the thing first, and then you'll trigger the standby, and then play over the Shiriko record she has done her thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but this is definitely, like, something that's not, like, viable. I could see this in, like, a, in, like, a Shiriko Ayumu, like, OTP deck, because, like, Right, is... right. You, you, is... can, you, can query tell, like, you can query tell you're pushing the agenda here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously, right? Because, yeah, so... uh, like, like, not really spoiler alert, because I, you know, this is we're, this is already like several months after this is revealed in a mobile game for the English players. But yeah, for for those like who go and plan on playing a game, uh, I Ayumu gets very very buggy buggy with Shiriko. <laughs> uh, part partly because the player character, as we're seeing a future card in this same section. <laughs> The player character like kind of neglects Ayumu for a while because she's busy trying to get things set up for the school idol festival event. 
Oh, so are you kind of getting like another buggy to talk to, you know? <laughs> oh, and Shioriko's perfect. Right, right. You, 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 want, you, you want to become good friends with the new student council president after assessing a guest who get out. Right. But at the same time, I'm just going, man, back to these two, no? Yeah, oh, man. Um, uh, 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 yes. And only Shiriko and Ayumu will have you. Uh, who, who, who would you, who would you perform with? I, 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 I would rather fall off the stage. Wait, it's all Shiriko and Ayumu? So it seems, so it seems. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a niche, only because I could see it being played in like an OTP type of deck, because there uh, are like already cards for that. So I wouldn't even play an OTP deck. Here, Rico and Ayumu do have good standalone cards. Only because like there was like like it seems like Bushi's like really pushing that sort of like you know what I mean? Really pushing that, that like uh, that deck. Really. Okay, okay. At least the level three and the level two, that was pretty nice. Here, no. All right, we'll move on. This is actually a little promo card. All right, deliver energy. I Miyashita. Auto ditch one when this uh, is is placed on the stage from your hand. Uh, mill the top two cards of your deck and put them into your waiting room. If there is a climax from among those cards, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one character in your waiting room and add it to your hand. And auto, she is a uh, job salvage, and uh, a pump uh, one character one k. Another character, not herself. <laughs> right, right. Um. So, um, do, do, possible double salvage, OP. Why is this card thirty dollars? Because it's the possibility of double salvage. Yeah, it's just like easy mill. Um, it's just like, like yeah, it's like, just super. Like, it's, it's basically a, remember the session we saw earlier that could pump fifteen up to two times. Mm-hmm. It, it's kind of like doing. It's kind of like. You get to salvage up to twice on this card for one stock and two cards. Pretty strong nice. if it happens, right? Right. And that's yeah, kind of at least. You know, again, Gavin, as we kind of, you know, as we're kind of approaching the end of red here, there's not a lot that's very splashable. You just want to simply splash red, right? No, there isn't. Eyes red is kind of, of... I, I, I kind of like one of your only ways to do it after the brainstorm, after the I early play. Yeah, that's pretty and, much it. And maybe after passing red. <laughs> that's enough. Uh, oh, man. You know what? When, when I, I, I first saw, like, how expensive this card was, I was like, ah, oh, man, okay. Like, it seems like a, a, a lot of, like, Koopla over a, a card that might have potential. But looking at it, yeah, I can see why it would get that high. Like it, it, it does give you a lot of value, like in the context of like what it's supposed to do and the game state. Because like this is probably like one of like the better cards that has that has continuous value like throughout the game. You know? Oh, um, definitely, definitely. Yeah, like it's not just at level zero. Like at any point of the game, this can get you like what you need or what you want. Right, and we can't tell them again because this is a box topper, so we won't count that. Fair enough, fair enough. So, uh, overall, yeah, this is very much a playable. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely give it the, like, the playable too. And then like um, the fact that on the drop salvage, it does pump something else 1k. It's just kind of nice. It's just like much needed. Uh, it's like much welcome. I, it's not for nothing. I, 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 I feel like ever since like 2019 debatably or something like that, they've honestly started to just attach the 1k to drop salvage because, it, because apparently people were starting to value salvage less and less for some reason. <laughs> How many of these do you actually have, Andy? Oh, I had two full playsets and I sold two full playsets. Oh, damn. damn. You made out like a bandit. <laughs> Yeah, the the only thing I think the only thing is you know what I think I might have to buy a couple of these because like I could I I could definitely see this being ran like in like a lot of decks just because of just like like the the, the nature of uh, of how toolbox it is it kind of turns on like a lot of cards. Fair enough, and this is so easily splashable. Uh, oh, definitely. Yeah. I'll I'll definitely say this. I'll 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 do. I'll do the same thing that I did for uh, Exciting Camp Yell Watanabe. I'm gonna hunt Yahoo auctions <laughs> and, and, and pray and pray I could get away with a lower than market price. Fair enough, man. Uh, fair enough. You might actually see 
See me WTB this card below market price. <laughs> amen, amen. You know what? You guys convinced me. Give this the playable. I was originally just going to give this the niche or the playable minus. I'm like, that was just that much. Mm. But you know what? This ain't bad. Mm -hmm. All right, all righty, gentlemen. Next. Yep, we now finally move on to what we were all waiting for: spicy events. So we have Nishikasaki High School Second Years Two Two. Yeah, two or fewer mystic characters. You can play this card. Bushi, why? Choose one of your mystic characters, and it gets fifteen hundred power and the following ability until the end of the turn. On reverse, burn two to your opponent. Well, this isn't that expensive, actually. No. Oh. And like, oh, go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say like yeah, it's like a really nice stock out too. Like, um, it's yeah, it's it 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 does work really well with standby, and um, you know you 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 can you can immediately pay out triggers, um, and like actually be like not feel bad about it. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, this is definitely like something that like that most builds would consider like even if you're not running standby. Mm -hmm. A portable fifteen hundred, portable fifteen hundred, and a and a burn two on either turn is really nice. Oh, definitely. Of course, this is the exact same cost as Setsna, but this is combo with Setsna. Right, and you know you could ironically attempt to kill your opponent on their turn with this, which is pretty nutty, honestly speaking. And with a certain card in blue, this is this only costs you one in a card. That's pretty good. That's really good. Like, imagine getting half off on this, gentlemen. And, uh, oh, oh, and when they get, why not? It's, it's, it's a power pump, and you get some extra burn damage. And it's also a portable counter, man. So, yeah, like, overall, uh, I'm, I'm giving this a playable. Yep, yeah, definitely, definitely. I can see why certain builds play this over a certain event that, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. And Andy, what about you? Yeah, this is yeah, this is definitely like a playable for me. For sure. All right, we'll move on then. Conflict two one. Let's see here. If you have exp two, uh, you may salvage a guy and exile this. Recollection, discard a card from your hand and salvage it back. Oh yeah, I guess it's the same for like. Um... So, yeah, uh, Ayumu meets up with the player character in the mobile game in the student council office because <laughs> she, she's trying to, like, hand the player character a gift for, like, you know, for her working so hard, right? Mm -hmm. But but, but then the character is going, like, no, I, 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 I'm I i not done yet. I got, like, a bunch of other things I gotta do. And, and then I like, see, like, snaps the gift away from Ayumu trying to, like, rush out of there. And, oh, 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 fuck. I just made Ayumu, like, very very sad girl. <laughs> and then like Ayumu kind of like calls you like Iggy and then like, uh, basically like you know she she like she says like she quits being a school idol because uh, what's the point of being a school idol if you're not really there for her? <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah. I I was like no, I gotta make this fucking thing to a car. No. <laughs> and holy. Holy, holy, being able to, being able to trade this card for something in your grave during huh? your opponent's turn? Not too shabby. Yo, that's yeah. so fucking good. Yeah, this, and like, yeah, just, just being able to just like, yeah, grab something, pay out a stock on your opponent's turn, and also like set up standbys is on one card that can like keep like, re like recurring is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I was about to say that. Oh, uh, uh, I have too many standbys in hand. Right. Hmm, let me pitch this card, grab this again. Or, or not to mention, like, temp like you're, like, near, like, the end of, you're, you're, like, near the end of a deck. Temporary placing a memory. <laughs> and, uh... Compress so, out the card. Yeah, com compress out a card, like, you know, like, pay out, pay out some stock, temporarily compress this from your next deck, and then get it back whenever you want it. So, you oh, broke oh, oh, positive. Like, oh, oh, overall, not too shabby. Um, so over and, uh, and in, in limited, eh, why, why not? It's utility, yeah. It's one of the, it's literally a free, it's literally a salvage. Oh, of course, it comes a little later than level zeros, but do you really care? Not really, not really. 
I think, like, overall, like, you could, you could consider it. It's definitely playable. Yeah, I like, I like the fact that it exiles. Yeah, this just, this just has, like, multiple, like, uses, like, on one single, single card. Um, yeah, this is really nice. Uh, let me go ahead and give it, uh, let's, let's give it a playable. Alrighty. And we have one more event here. All right. So let me sing. If you have two or fewer music characters, you cannot play this card from your hand. Choose one of your characters and it gets power 1k and the following ability until the end of your in the, in the turn. Auto, at the beginning of your encore step, if this card is in your front row and if there is no character in front of, or if there's no uh, character in front of this card, um, you may deal one damage to your opponent twice. Oh, baby. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. You weren't expecting that? I was expecting you to actually do, do it in that way. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I mean, insert it here as a clip, man. Actually, no, no, actually, no, no. That would get us in trouble. That would get us in trouble with the with the with with the giant mouse. So maybe not. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't think that song is uh is public domain yet. Uh no, or, definitely or, not. Or, or, if, or if it will ever be, period. Because right. Disney kind of holds on to its IP and stuff very, very long. Like, Mick, like I think like Steamhouse Mickey, Steamboat Mickey was supposed to like go on public domain like some time back, but uh, Disney went, like, oh, <laughs> they extended it. Yeah, uh, I'm just going. Yo, this card is naughty. It's fever based too. Right. So yeah. So un unlike Nishikasaki High School second years, um. Like, well, with anything, that, that card, you kind of, like, have, like, time it, but, like, if your opponent goes to run it, they could just simply, like, you know, but before you, like, get it all set up, they could just attempt to, like, clear their board out, right? But let me say, right. it just says, oh, you clear board? You're funny. Oh, thanks. Thanks for clearing your board for me. Uh, eat, 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 eat Darth Vader. <laughs> right, like, 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 like turn, turning a card, giving additional two instances of one on a card, pretty good. Like wait a second, with a certain card, this becomes two. This become this becomes pay two pitch two, for Darth Vader. Yo, that sounds pretty good. Combined with that combo, oh right. boy, oh fuck, oh yeah, fuck. And, uh, and I forgot one ring. This 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 is from like an earlier event in the game where um, you're, you're trying to figure out, like who's like if 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 there should be one person that does the performance, who should it be? And Yumu goes. It should be me. Are you going to actually choose to assert dominance? <laughs> Fair enough, even though Miss Setsna and Karin are there. Well, they're, 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 well she, she, are you the one that's saying, you know, let me say, everyone's like surprised because they're like, are you supposed to usually knock that assertive? <laughs> well, that's, that's true. Right, whoa, I mean, are you to, actually went... wanting to perform, like, without even arguing? I mean, or or or, or no, wanting to perform and like, actually attempting to like argue that she should do it over any of us. <laughs> Holy balls, Batman! Like, she wasn't that assertive in the anime. No, no. I, I, again, like, there's quite a few differences between the way the characters behave in the mobile game versus how they behave in the anime. Like, oh what? no, no, car car race, like one of the biggest examples. <laughs> I mean. Kara Car she... became freaking Detective Effing Conan. <laughs> and man, she's. And man? And who, man? Who? Why, why is it that Sessing a Yuki never shows up in the student roster that I conveniently stole while you weren't, while you weren't looking? <laughs> hmm. And yeah, she's all like, yo, she's like the biggest Emma simp on the planet, man. She's like I'm the just biggest looking ever. out for Emma. Well, I mean, she, she, she. All right, that that part, that part is consistent between the mobile gaming young and me. Well, it's, uh, amen, amen. amen. What are you doing, the Emma? And, and uh, and uh, her, her gang easily lost. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, bro, you can't find a building literally in front of you. F on. <laughs> you have she, Google Maps. See, she, she has to care about sense of direction. Okay. Holy shit! Oh, I like Karin too, man. 
All right, anyway, but, but uh, Laura, sorry. I don't Laura, know. Laura, sorry. Andy, what's your take on the card? Uh, this is yeah, this is pretty good. Th this card would be insane to attach to the to the Rina Musashi if you manage to get that combo off. Oh, true. Um, yeah, that would be really nuts. And I guess spoiler alert, but um, this card would would probably be like really good with the the Sekuda from the TD, just because like you're just a, your opponent can't like uh. Your, your opponent can't answer it like if they plan to like deny you with like some sort of backup or something like that definitely definitely so yeah over, so yeah definitely so overall uh yeah very playable uh, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. sorry what was that yeah this is definitely going to be like a playable for me this 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 has a potential to be like pretty 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 nutty one of the best cards in this fucking set, man. When I first looked, I was like, F4? This card doesn't seem all that good. But, oh boy, you're gonna find out why this card is fucking amazing next week. Yo! Holy shit, oh. Alright, like, so... You know what? This is going in the event hall of fame. Okay, so you're gonna a sparkle dog. Oh yeah, boys. <laughs> One of the best events you could play in the entire game. And you like, can make the argument. I, I wouldn't really go that far, but... <laughs> like, this is bloody Darth Vader? What? Like, Darth Vader that, you're, that your opponent has to play has to play fairly against? Oh, boy. Uh, okay, uh, do I have... No, I'm prepared to eat the Darth Vader blows. Ow. All right, but... All right, for sure, for sure. For sure but, folks, we aren't quite done yet. We do have our trial deck bonus round. But sometimes you just have trial deck cards that are actually aren't... Garbo. Look yes. Love and Peace, Sessinga Yuki. Level 3, 2 costs 10,000 power. Enjoy your turn, you get 4 more other music characters. She gets 5,000 power and cannot be countered. And on um, play, reveal a chunk of your deck. If it's a music character, you may burn one. Hey, look. Hey, hey look. It's Kasumi. Yeah, it's, it's literally the exact same card. But it's literally popping party uh, costing me Toyama. I, I, well, but I prefer Shiori, man. But, that far you're comparing like, that to a fucking Musashi. Yes? This motherfucker. Yes? Why not, sir? <laughs> and man, no responses? Musashi? 14,500, let's go, boys. <laughs> Facts though, but yeah, uh, but yeah, this is just assessing uh, that uh, Andy was alluding to earlier with the Let Me Sing event. <laughs> Yo, dog, four instances of damage. Let's go. That's pretty nutty. Four instances of damage? <laughs> like, 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 on play ping one, on attack, you, you two plus trigger plus climax, and then one one. Easy. <laughs> Holy shit, oh. Imagine doing that multiple times. Uh. Yeah. This is definitely like the card that you want to like attach your your uh, events to, just because like the, the fact that your opponent can't answer it, they just have to sit there and just like take it. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, power toughness of Sessa, sixteen thousand. What can you okay. actually do about it though? Uh, are you Reinhardt? No. <laughs> okay then, you're keeling over. No responses, sir. Like, oh shit, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I have no response. I can't respond to this. Like, oh, my shit dead. Yeah, like, like gag, and then you're kicking the extra two. Oh, plus you probably took the burn one, the, the initial burn one as well. Right, like, like, oh my goodness. The, po the potency with trial deck cards, of all things. It's a trial deck card, FR man? I mean, <laughs> well, technically, yeah. always has been, right? Oh yeah, true. Always has been. But I, I, cost, I, I, I was like, I was like, I was like, nothing came before it costed me, right? Right, and she was a fucking trial deck card. F four, man. F four. Wow. And, and yet I, she, and she, she always a double R. <laughs> she always a double R. Oh man. I, I don't know, guys. I prefer Shiori over Cessna, but damn, for a oh, TD. Here's, card. here's a problem. Here's a problem, Gavin. The only good thing, have course, that we can combo off with her. No, she does not. Imagine, imagine, if, imagine if we had Darth Vader event in Princess Connect. Oh lord. Oh they, lord, they, no. They wouldn't. They definitely would not put Darth Vader in Connect. Uh, can you imagine Hecarina with Darth Vader? 
Oh, I almost spat tea at the monitor for that one. I almost spat tea at the monitor on that one. I was like, oh god, no, that would be so... Actually, no, no, they just... The front that, they just play Shiori, just be like, Darth Vader Shiori, let's go. Oh, man. Gross. Uh, you cancel anything. Musashi. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Before before I make egregious fanfiction, back to Tessna here. Give this girl the playable, boys. Oh, I agree. Very, very, very playable. Yeah. Of course, we gave Shiori the sparkle months ago, but at the same time, bro, that's a fucking Musashi that you cannot do anything about. Right, and I think Angus trying to say something. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, this is definitely like a playable. It enables all your events. It's a nice one of, and even if it's just like you just play it just by itself, like, burn one is fine. Right, it, it, you know, she just has, she just has po potential. Like, her style is already fine, but you combine with a very oh boy, gets spicy. All right, it then. is five top though, so be prepared for that. <laughs> All right, we'll move on. Familiar taste, Ayumu, zero zero five hundred. When this card attacks, get, choose one of your guys and give them twenty five hundred for the end of turn. What twenty five hundred? Yo, doll, that's a TD card. Yes. What? I, th I thought this was like a rare man. Sometimes it's a rare. I guess it's like uncommon. Now it's a trial deck card. That's what, a trial deck card. What, what in the Sam Hill? Amazing. What 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 universe are we living in? Yes. Oh Jesus Christ! I think this is like the biggest power pump in the set. Well, I yeah, big, biggest 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 guaranteed power pump. Yeah, and then like Te like, technically, Sasuke you... could surpass her, but you have to roll the coin max. Yeah, and then like even if in in a pinch, you can even just get power to herself just to, like oh, run oh, over. Oh, oh, technically, um, no. Uh, to the main stage of dreams. What's the biggest power pump? Plus five k. But we had to pay two for that, sir. We were just simply talking power pumps here. Y'all didn't give me any limitation. Okay, okay, true. Okay, this is the, big, this is the best free pump. We Correct. And, and, and man, I, I'm just amazed to put this in trial decks. Right. And, and also, I she's red. Easy red spot. So you're really Oh yeah. Oh yeah, back in my day, man. Back in my day, this was never. This was unheard. Of. We would get those zero zero two five, those shitty zero zero two fives that gave fifteen hundred if you have two or less stock. That was a TD card. Uh, uh but I I'm sure Grandpa over here can tell you, man, Fr, you were lucky to get those in a TD. Yeah, you, yeah, it, um, yeah, Model Cover Boy wants to speak with you. 680 yen, rare version of that, I got you for a while. What, what, F R man? Yeah, 680 yen for that, because one, there was, like, there was a home run that interacted with her, and what are, what are Google was doing since you have a Model Cover? No? <laughs> you didn't have a Kane back then? It's just Rebellion, because we can't have Model Gear record yet. Oh okay. Our our, our so our so called our so called Akane was the shitty clock version. No. <laughs> uh, I'm talking real Akane, man. You know exactly. What yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is before Magia record, so no. No. <laughs> oh shut up! And yet now we're we now we have arrived, gentlemen. Welcome to the arrived. welcome to, welcome to the present where this shit is now in trial decks. Great, great hero. Great era. Oh, um, man. I feel old. Uh, That's like you said. A pretty big, you know, big, big, biggest free power pump. That's biggest free guaranteed power pump. Again, Sessia could surpass, but Sessia needs to high roll. Man, oh, yeah. I, I, I like this girl. I do. Yeah, I think there's a card from uh, Two Love Rue. Uh, the, the, the Chibi, uh, um, what was it? It's, Econ? it's, Econ? yeah, yeah. That, it's not like a dirt, like a thirty dollar PR. For a while, she was. Back yeah, in the, oh, yeah, this is this is the same thing, but for like in a TD. But this this card cost what? Like how much? If you, 20, if you, you uh, let me double check. Let me double check. I have you to open up. It's, it should be like twenty thirty yen, right? Oh. Maybe fifty if they really value it that high. Fifty cents, man. You can buy a McDouble in in LA for the same price for four of them. 
Like, damn. You could buy the goddamn McDouble. Like, how much, how much is a McDouble in, in LA, Andy? <laughs> McDouble's like, oh, like, 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 like a dollar, dollar twenty-five. Dollar, dollar twenty-five, cap. Yeah, overall, uh, yeah, I got good to play a ball. Big, um, big, 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 big pump, pretty good. Yeah, who cares if it's 500 power? Give, give this girl the playable board. The, the, yeah. This, this deck, this deck, this deck makes my, this card makes my current deck go. Yeah, this is definitely a playboy. It, it, it services the, the TD combo if you really wanted to run that. And then it definitely helps out your uh, Shiro Riku combo. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yo, this makes Shiro Riku climb over I2-2. Donks. Oh, a oh, one oh, is about to destroy your 2-2. Two -two. Counter? Like, no? Bye. Bye? <laughs> you have to pitch the card, sir. <laughs> like, what? what? Did a All one right. just destroy my 2-2? Two -two? FR? Great. Thank, 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 thank you, OTP power. Holy shit, oh. <laughs> See? Right. Ayumu and Shiriko have good style loan cards, people. <laughs> Alright, next. Let's start again. Choose one of your characters and it gets the following ability until the end of the turn. Auto, when this card, when this card's battle opponent becomes reversed, you may deal through damage to your opponent. They're putting this shit in trial decks now, too? FR? FR. What? Right, I, I, I was like, well, we're going with an instance, instance of damage on, tr like, combine this with the fucking setting out. Oh, Lord. No responses, boys. Like, she, she get a ping of one on play, she swung at you for two, and then she's gonna on reverse burn three. That's like almost a whole level of damage. For a trial deck card, what is this nonsense? Two trial deck cards, five stock effort. <laughs> Dude, I was like, I was like, this is inferior to Darth Vader in every way. But then I remember, wait, this is a trial deck card. Right, right, it's, it's definitely not like, it's definitely not as, like, if you want like the extra burn reach, that Nishikasaki, high school, second year students, and let me sing, uh, offer, like, you know, this, this is definitely something worth considering, you want to like, you know, pay a little, pay a little more stuff for like an extra damage output. If people, oh. want, like, people value reach, some people might value reach. By the way, love and peace is a dollar fifty, the most expensive card in the trial deck. Makes sense. <laughs> I believe it. You believe it? Hey, hey man. Yeah. Un Uncounterpole that casts potential, which is grant additional burn events on reverse or fever base. Come on, man. Hey man, our fav our fa our favorite Sith Lord is only thirty cents. Anyway, um, yeah, any other thoughts on Let's Start Again here? Um, yeah, it's definitely more niche than the, than the Burn 1, Burn 1. But, you know, it's, 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 it's pretty nice, um, that we have access, like, to this, or, like, this set does. Right, um, right. Well, yeah, you just have so much selection when it comes to granting additional instances of damage. Yeah, yeah, this is the best event to give to your, uh, TD, um, sets, you know, like, if you really wanted to run that. Right, right. Oh okay, yeah. By the way, this this is the scene where like right after you remember, remember the card I was really called. Let's let's start again. Sasuke Yuki. Mm -hmm. This is actually like a scene like right after where like all nine of them are like, oh yeah, put your hand and kill. You're the tenth member of this club. Oh <laughs> man. You're also our uh, you're also our bucho. Damn son. I mean, te technically, you as a player character were like the one to like build this club again. <laughs> Well, in the anime, it's Ayumu this time. Oh, well, but it, I, 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 it, it's well. Actually, I think about it. No, did, did, did they ever give? I mean, did they, I, I'm trying to remember. Did they actually say someone was the, someone was the club president? I thought it was Ayumu. I could have sworn it was Ayumu. I don't remember yeah. if they did. But anyway, but uh, overall, with this card. It's nutty for a trial deck card. What? Oh, definitely. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll say this. If you feel burn one, burn one is not worth the green stock. Play this instead. This is, this, is, this is an okay substitute. So I'm, just like, I'm, I'm actually forced to give this to playable. Some people can argue, you can argue both ways. Burn one, one, or burn three and a go. They're, they're, they're both, they're, they're, they're both getting you to similar places. 
Gonna yeah, have to I'll... go with the playable. Yeah, I'll I'll go ahead and just a playable as well, just because yeah, like you might prefer like that burn three, like because you know at at that stage of the game, like the burn three can close out the game. Oh definitely, definitely. Like I just really like how much firepower Nishikasaki can just deal with like the combination of advancing like other top end cards. Like, it's just it's just unfathomable sometimes. Like, I mean, it's FR, so like, three to four instances of damage with events on a single lane. <laughs> I mean, this is so much more explosive than Sunshine Set 1. Sunshine, Sunshine Set 1 was so shit compared to this. Oh, bet. And let's like, have oh. talk about OG. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> anyway, uh, any, any final thoughts on Reg overall? Color me surprised. Well, definitely, like, uh, you know, just being able to, like, talk about, like, these cards with, like, different perspective, like, different perspectives on the table here, you know, it's definitely opened up my eyes to, like, uh, some of the more interesting, like, you know, as Gavin and I both say, we may ironically consider playing a standby for a while, just to like, see like, what he could do after Angie persuading us. Now, of course, blue is going to be the spiciest color, in my opinion. Fair enough. Andy, what about you for red? Red, um, yeah, red, red def definitely feels like you're either in or you're out. You, like you, you, you know what I mean? Like um, you either have to dedicate your build to red because you can't really half-ass it, just because of like a lot of the profiles, like we mentioned earlier, they're like half-finished ideas. So you can't really splash a bunch of like different red tech you really have to like kind of like go all in there, you, there, there there's no half ways so mm. right especially yeah. especially rest a little more difficult than one might uh expect yeah and then like you, you're not splashing red for like this big payout it's kind of just to like, to like fill in the gaps of like your build um so red is very like hit or miss for, for sure like again like overall like red like while while red definitely like kind of playing a little safe with some of the profiles. It also did offer like some interesting things to the table, like up to three twin driving characters in a, up with up to three standby climaxes. That's pretty crazy. And like all of these burn events. Oh my god, oh my lord. It does a lot of damage. But, but like it, no, it's not it's not just a simple burn event, it's like giving characters burn. <laughs> it's like whoa. It's a more interesting dynamic. I I I really I really I really like the design overall. So yeah, with that, I think we're gonna go ahead and end things off here. Thank you all for watching. If you like what we're talking about, be sure to give us a like, leave a comment, subscribe, ring notification bell because these all help the YouTube algorithm out. And of course, we also have Patreon and Coffee. If you want to donate to help contribute towards us being able to make these videos for you all. And with that, we will catch you all next time. Bye-bye.